What's so up, everybody? Fifteen. Fifteen. Mm. Oh man. Mm -hmm. <sighs> How's it going? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Uh, Bruce Bros. Speak. BS. What are we? What are we? Up in your business. What are we? We got episode fifteen. Yeah. Is business yeah. business or snatch? Up in your business. And <laughs> since tonight has three beers, it'll be beer thirty one. <laughs> Yeah, 31 uh, beers. Up I to 31 beers because oh, we have no. three beers tonight. 31 beer beers. The other night we had three beers. Oh, uh, we did have three beers on the non take yep. cast. We did. 32. So 32. 32 beers. 32. Yeah. Thanks for sticking with us. Been a good guys. run. Been a lot of beer. <laughs> Everybody's uh, also, you know, we always try to say everybody who's uh, joining in, always give us a shout out, say hey, because we don't always get to see who's joining. Yep. Um, it's, one of, it's one of the bad things with Facebook. Uh -huh. but, uh, or, or just a F you. I mean, that's, yeah. It's kind of my style. If everybody just wants to say "fuck you, Tate," we'd love that. Oh, That's, I'd yep. love that. <laughs> Always <laughs> accepted. So I didn't realize whenever you guys were talking about who logs into it, I was like, "Isn't this just an account?" Mm -mm. But it's not. You log in from your profile. I didn't realize that until I tried to watch Sarah's stream when they do their Facebook stream on the the girls' night thing, yeah, yeah. and so I logged into hers, and I'm like, "Why the fuck is this on there?" <laughs> and then and then I'm just like, "I'm not watching this." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. Nope, fuck that. Damn, uh, heartless. <laughs> uh. But I did find out within the brief time that I watched it, for some reason, for their their relay was really, really quiet, and I hope ours isn't really quiet. I mean, ours shows loud, and then I guess the recorded videos, you guys watch those, but when you guys watch them, you'll watch them with headphones and not on speaker, right? Right. No, oh, I, I sometimes watch them, like, even either way, and they sound... I always watch on speaker. We have a good sound level oh, okay, way, okay. so... Then just checking on that because whenever I watch theirs, I was like, man, my volume's maxed, and it I could be. barely hear. I will say they sit back like quite a bit too. Yeah, it might like be the game taking some of the sound card. Mm, okay, possibly. That's true. Because I, I know when we're doing D and D on Friday nights, sometimes it, we use Discord and Hangouts. Well, once we open Hangouts, Discord goes faint. Hmm. It's that still makes there. sense. Something's getting like priority. Okay, yeah. okay. My sound card is not the greatest, so it could be that. <sighs> not to not to take away, but no, it's yeah. cool. Anyways, you're <laughs> fucking nerds. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing man for sure. Uh, so uh, starting off tonight, Tate, you want to do the uh, fucking Vanna yep. White? Oh yeah. 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 Oh. There it is, baby. So that's the Copperhead. A little free state up in your face. So I think we should get. Some kind of drum roll or something for the the beer show. <laughs> 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 I can't do it. Yeah, uh, and you don't like uh, my singing. On. You don't like my singing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, fuck you. <laughs> it sounds like shit. I don't like it either. People. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> like I'll do the uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, so this was donated to us actually tonight by uh, Brent Cray. I don't Brent know if Brent. you want the last name, so... Yeah, Kramen. Brent. Yeah, Brent Kramen Hyman Schmidt. Kramen, yeah. Thank you for the beer, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> yes, uh, thank you. it's a guy that uh, Chris and I work with. Uh, hit Chris up today and was like, hey, I got some uh, some beer. Uh, he didn't particularly care for it, so he gave it to us to uh, make <coughs> on the cast. And I'm yeah. like, hey, man, free beer. And it's out of Lawrence. Yeah, free state out of Lawrence. That yeah. means we made it. The first time... Might be a fluke. It's happened twice. Yeah, we're official. Second time we've got the donated <laughs> beer. Like, we're that's pop awesome. stars. I I think we're a big deal now. We're we're famous people. <laughs> I'm gonna write a book. What's up, Molly? <laughs> yeah. So uh, Brent Hooker goes up with these Copperheads, Free State out of Lawrence. Can't like we were saying this before, Cass. Like Kansas has some badass breweries now. They really do. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. All oh, you know would be badass is on one of these backgrounds that we have here. Like if they had like a, a map of craft breweries and it was just like little pins. On the map or, or heat spots for craft cool. breweries. That'd be cool. That, that would be pretty nice. Or, better yet, we start making our fucking own from where we've <laughs> drank from. Yeah. The, the different kick -ass. places where we do it. There we that go. way we can heat map the area. So, eventually, we can get around to areas where we haven't gotten. Like, hey, we haven't had one from Wisconsin. Let's go find a Wisconsin brew. That'd that be, would that's be a really good idea. Awesome. I like, it. like so, put multiple so pins. If we like, don't if we had... remember this, somebody watch this. <laughs> so we remember it. <laughs> It's a good, it's a good so, It's like all the great ideas we have, we're going to have to watch this later because we're not going to remember it at the end of yep. the night. So this is a, an American pale ale uh, featuring golden promise malt complemented by crispy hop notes. Uh, I get the malt. I definitely get the hops, though. The, the, the story behind it is pretty funny, yeah. though. 
Apparently they had brewed this beer and they had it. Uh, I guess uh, you'd say fermenting. This they, looks brown, not copper. They hadn't and they hadn't uh, <laughs> they hadn't named it yet. And then one of the owners uh, was walking down or walking somewhere and got bit by a fucking copperhead. And so it officially became the copperhead ale. So he has to tell the story every time somebody asks. Yeah. Yep. So I don't know if we necessarily have copperhead come we, from. Chris, yeah. Chris, and his uh, fucking awesome technological advances had the video queued up uh if you get a chance go to free state's website um they actually have like a video of how yeah, copperhead I'll, came to be i can put it up uh, in a little bit or something okay well, unless you guys want it up now but then we got to be quiet uh, no we can we i mean <laughs> here, we'll, let, we'll let them check it out <laughs> yeah. we can i mean we can fill it up later if we want but yeah. uh it's it's really cool because the guy's telling the story about how like like uh tate was saying it was fermenting uh they, they had this new beer uh they weren't quite sure what was you know what they were going to call it anything like that uh, he happened to be walking, uh, you know, near the Lawrence area, because obviously they're out of Lawrence. Uh, and he had a twig. He said he had a twig jump up and slap him in the leg when he was walking, and uh, there's a fucking snake. <laughs> Copper a copperhead. Head. Bit him in the leg. He spent the weekend in the hospital, uh, which is terrifying. I didn't think copperheads were a cancer. But then, uh, then yeah. he came oh, yeah. back. Then he came back. The beer was uh, in the bar being served there. Copperhead ale. And uh, copperhead ale. Everybody knew his story. Which, you know, I mean, they're really weird, too, because their tails go from like they're like this big around them and they go yeah oh yeah little stubby tails they're not all slender. right they don't get yeah they don't slimly it's like a yeah for it's sure nasty looking i don't like like Tay said i don't fuck with snakes i'm not a snake, snake fan i don't fuck with shit that nope. can like, kill you like re and they're real silent like a women. snake will coil up women and, you don't fuck with women i don't fuck with women <laughs> or like even like some spiders like if they're like poisonous and can kill you like don't fuck with them mm -hmm. oh man Maybe even I, like wasps and shit like that shit can kill you dude like, yeah. and you might hear a little yeah. buzz, but like, isn't yeah. it how Thomas J died and my girl? Oh, stop it! Oh. <laughs> I cried so hard. I cried Damn, so hard, dude. <laughs> so apparently, beast. he needs his glasses. He needs his glasses. Oh, oh my god, dude! Apparently, BBBS <laughs> has gotten super fucking dark tonight. Uh, oh. Holy shit! Oh man, I don't know what we, the fuck they're talking about. We so. got our <laughs> we, we got our our beer dog right here, oh. Chewy. Yeah, he's doing work. He's got a bowl over there full of beer. Uh, <laughs> he's one of the bro? bros. What's he up, hangs bro? out with us, man. My dog boy. would not drink anything other than Corona. That's the only thing that I've given him that he's actually oh, drank. All right. all right, come on. That's funny. Turn around, sit. I do like on the label of this. It says Free State Brewing Company, established in 19 blah blah blah. But then it gets down to uh, it, it's our description. We continue to enjoy exploring both new and traditional flavors in beer. And pairing them with good food, lots of laughter, and lively conversation. I think we should steal that. Thanks. There's the thing. And their hashtag, too, is because without beer. <coughs> like, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. 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 I like it. I, I, here's I like the thing. It. They're out of Lawrence, which is, in, to me, man, that's my favorite city in Kansas. It's a good place to be. Hands down. Good place to out be. Out of anywhere. Uh, Lawrence, Kansas. Like, I've never been there and not had an amazing time. Like, I thought you were going to say, I've never been there, but I really hear good yeah, things. Yeah, I hear good things, though. <laughs> People say just great things about that place. We should just have a weekend in Lawrence oh. and see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. <laughs> oh, man. You got some buddies with a place to crash? Yeah. No, I, I got the place to crash. Okay. I'll uh, say, if you don't, I do. Yeah, so my sister's we're got set. a bitch in place. Hell yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, do we want to do a rate? Shit up. We want to give, uh, <laughs> we wanna us, give so. Red's uh, beer a rating? Sure. You know? Oh, are we that far into this? Yeah, fuck yeah, we I'm, are. I'm just saying, like, there's no we, goddamn wait, rule. We, wait, we did establish a rule. It was like 15, 30. Fuck you and your rules. So we'll do 15, 30, 45? I mean, we can do I it. I do that not way. like rules. <laughs> sure. We can do it that way. I was just saying, because uh, we got three beers tonight, I was going to get the first one, you know, knocked out. But I, gotta, I was going to say, not you, a fan you, of rules. You, oh, oh I'm just saying, I can give a rate. They're called rules. What's that mean? Mm. You know what I do with rules? I break them. It's em. just better for people that don't want to hear the bullshit. They don't want to hear the ratings. <laughs> right. The yeah, we'll do that. We'll do every 15. You we'll know? stick with it. We you made know what we could do? We'll do it. We could also have a, a section in, on our page where we list, like, have a, a list of every beer with our ratings on them. All right. Yep. Wouldn't that be cool? Your task is that. going I back. I haven't <laughs> had the time to go through every fucking video. Yeah. Except <laughs> what we're rating them at yet. You are. You know what? Hey, let me be in charge of that. What? What better do you have? There's a lot of data mining. Yeah. Fuck you, man. Chris, let me be in charge. Of that Chris, like, <laughs> I want everybody to understand, like, and I, and I know we've said this like several times. Chris does a lot for this cast. No, like, I don't. He, no, he's setting up like our backgrounds. He's uh, he made that awesome fucking intro video that we have now. Uh, 
we sent him our fucking emojis and he like set up that intro screen that's fucking hilarious. I mean, he does a 90%, shit ton. 90%, 5%, 5%, 0%. I was going to say, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna say the, my only contribution is showing up at Chris's house to drink beer that's been in Chris's And fridge. then leaving like, a total fucking mess. <laughs> the, only <laughs> thing I, the only thing I've done is the fucking intro guitar riff thing. Yeah. Like that's the, it. The production uh, song. That's it. Intro music. So, like, I, I yeah, 5% max. I've sacrificed my body. And the <laughs> and, <laughs> and editing the intro video took longer than it took us to produce that. Holy yeah. Shit. That was, like, actually really fast. Like, that song that plays at the beginning, Chris and I got together. It was, like, a Friday, wasn't it? Yeah, like, an hour and a half. Yeah, because we, we, we generally get off pretty early, and we're like, let's get together this afternoon and fucking, like, write an intro tune or something. Like, it'll be fun. Oh, okay. And I was like, this is going to take all afternoon. And it was like, yeah, an hour and a half. And we're like, all right, well, that's done. Let's get drunk. <laughs> conversation turn now that you guys are talking about producing music i watched baby driver this weekend have you guys seen that mm -mm. no God i haven't damn it i wanted to talk about that so bad because i heard such good things and i was like it was all right but he, <laughs> I, when i saw the thing i thought it was yeah he starts making a really cool beat in it and then it just goes to shit and i was like I think he just ruined this whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> this whole movie was ruined right off the bat. Right. Like, it, oh. I, I liked it, but I, it wasn't great. But then I watched Wonder Woman. Yeah. It was fucking terrible. I uh, hated what? it. What? I fucking hated I, I it. I thought it was that great. Movie. Yeah, they it was really, great. really, I've never seen a love story forced so hard other than in Hitchcock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, ever Speaking seen a love story of, forced uh, so hard. Will Smith and like supernatural type movies. That new series on Netflix, is right? Coming, right. Yeah, that's coming out. What that's December? That is it, shit. Is it a series, series or a movie? I think it's a series, isn't it? I, I thought, thought it was like a mini series. It was a mini I couldn't series. tell. I think it's a mini series. But you know what else comes out this month? What's that? On the seventeenth, fucking Punisher. I can't oh, fucking wait. Yeah. Oh my god, this series? gonna be so good. Like the Daredevil yeah. series. Yeah. Hey, what's yeah. up, Brent? How you oh, doing, man? We're uh, we're drinking like the Copperhead, brother. Uh, it's gonna be before, Chris, during, and Brent, after. Love in. Brent, what's up? Woo! Thank you for the beer. Yeah, cheers hey, to Brent. And see, see, aren't you glad we waited until fifteen? That way he gets to hear the rating. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, uh, I'm gonna take the point for that. Also, <laughs> is ever also just so we're talking about stuff. Is everybody else done with Stranger Things season two? Mm -hmm. yeah. I finished it the releasing night. Oh my god! All we, right, we were up till three. We so can it. we talk opinions, or do we think this is too spoiler still? <sighs> no. It's been out how long? Spoiler alert, dude! Your shit. If, if two or three you weeks. Hear, if you don't least. watch, it, now, if you don't binge watch Netflix, you're doing something wrong. But like we're oh, at least. But, <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is like we're like two or three weeks now, right? Uh, yeah. Like even if you watch like one every other night, you should be fucking through it. But then well, I mean, we're I not gonna give up spoilers. We're just gonna talk about how amazing yeah. it was because it was fucking amazing. <sighs> I. I it was it, it was really it. good, except I think they resolved it way too quick in the last episode two. Episodes. Yeah. It, yeah, it was like, hey, we've got this big bad. What do we do? You get half an episode. Yeah, half an episode to resolve this huge conflict that's been building up for yeah. what eight? Like, episodes? What do we do? Make him, and then fucking do that. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do spoilers. I don't fucking care, dude. It's been three weeks. And We're gonna make that motherfucker like... hot, and she's gonna close shit up. Yeah. Do it. Done. Yeah. Fuck you. Like yeah. The fourth was... episode, they're like, he's like, I like it cold, and she's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So they feel like, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, you're that's right. literally almost literally the devil. I'll do whatever you tell me to. Like, his my biggest thing is that oh. they introduced a lot of fucking new characters. I did a not... lot, and they killed one, and it was awesome. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> They introduced a shit ton of new characters. Sorry, these are spoilers. And he was like really out. foreshadowed, though, yeah. that he was going to die. Like, yeah. it, you had to That know. was really nice cliche. Guy, no, it was really cliche. Yeah. No, I'm well, sorry. Like, my, uh, the big dude. Bob? Bob. Bob. Rudy. Rudy died. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I was like to say, when he was running down the hallway in slow motion, did nobody else, and I swear to God, I did oh, this. I, knew it I did this out loud. I went, Rudy. Yeah. Rudy. I did it, dude. <laughs> He was too nice. Uh, I was, was actually nice, somewhat hoping that he was gonna like fucking live. I really liked his character, it's, but it's only because I knew they were gonna fucking kill him. How did we segue from reviewing to Stranger Things? <laughs> we still got a minute. Oh, it's fifteen after. Okay, but well, okay, let's finish this real quick and then oh, we'll review. Oh. We're uh, we're like still on the fifteen minute mark. I'm just okay. asking. <laughs> I'm just Break saying. Some rules, Neff. I mean, just do it. <laughs> Stranger Things, the original series. I fucking loved the this first one. Season? Yeah, yeah. Season two, I liked a lot. I don't. I think season one was like 
a lot better. But I think it's because they introduced so many new characters and they couldn't follow the story that much because like they had to just like keep going and keep going. And I think they they overdid it. Did you watch Beyond Stranger Things? The, I did watch a little bit. Okay, of it. so one of the things that I didn't realize was their whole because the thing that I hated about it, which I did, I I absolutely hated it, was that they introduced Max and Billy. I did not understand the point in having Billy at all. Yeah, I was like, I this is the, he doesn't serve a purpose. He's not going to be helpful. He's They're not turning really. him. He, he doesn't the, become the like, brother. He doesn't become like an ultimate the evil. pop star with the fucking earring and always. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. The, the mullet dude. He has a mullet. The guy who was mullet. driving the, the fast oh, car. He drives a fast guy. car. Yeah. yeah, he fucking so there was beats no what's his name point. half to death. But like, he got tons of airtime. He got a shitload of airtime. And I was like, there's no point. Probably because, like, season three, and maybe he'll come be bigger. That, that's one of. But so he, that's one of the things that they allude to is. But they like died him that down at the end, though. Like he's like completely like now he's like diluted. Maybe, maybe we we don't know that well, yet. Because he got his ass whooped. But <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, and then she comes out with it, had him with that fucking, and she's like, "Don't fuck with." She should have just. And then hit at the very the end of the thing, shit. like he walks in the doorway and she's standing there and she looks at him and he just kind of like puts his head down, like he's diluted now as a character. I mean, like he could try to come back, but like at the same time, like. Yeah. Then that takes that 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 takes as a storyteller that takes away from the own like one thing that you did you're like oh we fucked up we wanted to make him cool again. Well, they said the reason why they did that is originally Steve was supposed to be a bad guy, but he was too good in the show yeah. that they made him a secondary good guy. I didn't like him until this season. Yeah, I was like fuck that character. I, I thought he was. Pretty I easy. still I'm still not like super huge on Steve. Like me either, but it is better. The only than thing season. that I think like this season that I was like, all right, that's kind of cool, is like he was helping Dustin. Show. But like other than that, like I'm not big. I'm is not it because Dustin guy. has shares your name? Is, yeah. is that I mean, like Dustin's are all around and fucking pretty cool. He's from definitely what I've Julie's seen. favorite. She I, tracks up every Steve? time he talks. Or Dustin. Dustin. He that also dude, got Have a you lot seen of all the time. videos he of like him like outside of this show? Like that motherfucker's blowing up. Like yeah. Oh, I'm sure. But for Billy, I didn't realize the their whole point in introducing him. Was to be a human antagonist, so something to counteract the big bad as an antagonist. Hmm. So I was like, okay, I can I can see where that happens, but on the same note, they really. I just felt like too. for a miniseries, if they were going to do it, like if they were going to do what they did, they should have like decided decided to make it longer because like there was just a lot that they packed in in yeah. one small yeah. fucking thing. And then there was that like, weird fucking episode where What's Her Fuck went off to Chicago and had an old, whole episode with right. 15 new characters that served no purpose for the actual base of the yeah. show. Yeah. And then she's it like, well, like another season. okay, bye. All right, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, one episode, there, and then back. Oh, I was and like, like chick didn't like show about? back up. 11, okay, oh, yeah. yeah. Eight and but, her friends. No, I, What's Her Fuck. That's and her sister didn't show back up. Like, I thought, like, I... I thought he, she would show up. I think in that's town. season three plot. I think that's yeah, moving I can into see that, that because but it introduced that the fact that Papa or Brenner was still alive. Yeah, great. Yeah. But that's her fear. Okay, great. It introduces that there is an eight, so eight's alive. Mm -hmm. Where are one through ten? Is yeah. there another one after eleven? You know, you you get that whole plot too. So and do all we get of the that. backstory of eight some yeah. more? Like yeah, when she was younger. Here's the thing: how she escaped. Yep. Yeah. Does anybody I mean, there's, have there's does anybody that. have opinions as far as what maybe season three might be? No. <coughs> I well, think season three is going to deal a lot less with the upside down. I think it's going to continuously bring it up. As far as like at the very end when it shows you know the big bad like looking down on them, I think it's going to continuously bring that up. But I don't think they're going to reopen that portal until season four. I think season three is going to be a lot of okay. So we have story, eight, yeah building. we have eight and we have eleven. Where is everybody else? And I think it's going to be a lot of that. I think they're going to, f like... And then the season end is going to be the portal opening back up. Yeah, there's yeah, going to be okay. some sort... Yeah, that's I what I feel that. like. Because like, they're really... Uh, I mean, that Because the upside down kind of only has so much to offer. The shadow of the school was yeah. kind of a cliffhanger, but not so, really. What the, yeah. the part about that, you both remember that part, but do you remember what was happening exactly at that same moment? So not only were they doing the, the snowball, which was all of the kids involved in that, but what song were they playing? Oh. That I don't remember. I can't tell you. What song was it? I'm sure it has some kind of fucking theatrical fucking ir irony on it. Yeah. So, God, I can't remember the name of the song. <laughs> now, but it, I can't remember the name, but it was basically that he'll be watching them or that he is watching them. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, it, it, and that's why it shifted. Yeah. yeah. And that's why it shifted over to him watching after that and just hovering over the school mm -hmm. was... I, I don't know if he can peer through dimensions 
or parallel whatever right. they are, whatever the worlds or whatnot. But that's why it did do that shit. Maybe it shows that he still has a connection for, to Will. Like he still has yeah. that connection a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's why he can see into it. So that was a huge conversation that we had over the week too was, is he going to start having flashbacks again? He got rid of the, the evil part that was inside of him, but that wasn't the only thing that was inside right. of him. Yeah. So he got like before that entered. Yeah. He was still having. Maybe yeah. he is a dead I bet, Gorg Gorgon. I bet. I bet he'll still have those in season three. But I don't think. I don't think the upside down would be the main focus in season three. I think. What it'll about pop that cat though? God, don't you feel bad for the cat? <laughs> <laughs> got ate by the Demogorgon. Yes. I right, like so, that they named the the replacement cat Twos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do, let's do our reviews. Uh, reviews. I fucked up. I said knock it back like a minute, and then now it's like five minutes later. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you want to start off, Tate? Sure. So it's a uh, it's an American pale ale. <clears throat> uh, it's a Copperhead ale from Free State. Mm. Smooth, malty. It's got some hop characteristic. Uh, nothing super crazy about it though. Uh, I feel like it's a. I mean, I drink it again. It's a good drinking beer. I don't know why we've looked over Free State whenever we've gone and selected beer. This is the first Free State beer, and they have a good selection at the store. Right. I don't know why we haven't gravitated I think towards them. With me, anyways, the reason I haven't grabbed a Free State beer is I've drinking a lot of their beers, and I tried to like I've been trying to grab like stuff I haven't tried before. Yeah. So I will I will say in my defense, like it's not because I don't like them. I love like anything I've ever had Free State. I don't think I've had one yet that I was like, eh. Like I like all of their beers. I love all their beers, but like I try to try new stuff, especially on here, like. And so on our rating scale, we're talking one being it's fucking horrible. I I will not even finish the six pack. Ten being this is amazing. <laughs> it's, the best, it's the best beer I've ever had. So five is what? This is a good beer. Uh, it's not my favorite. Yeah, uh, I would say I would say five would be like not my favorite. I don't know. To me, like if I ever raised something to five, I would like. I probably wouldn't. I think five is like a shitty average beer. Shitty average beer. I would say this is. Man, above I thought that. we were doing like school grading scale, like. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, like that's... chicks? Uh, okay, oh, yeah. she's a ten. She's a fucking ten. <laughs> she's a Kale five. Ten. I could mean, but she's still a chick. Uh, she's, she doesn't <laughs> got a dick. Uh, so five's still good in my book. Um, so she's I mean, still a chick. Who the fuck has ever said <laughs> that? So uh, I mean, thinking about this beer, this is still a beer, uh, and it's not my favorite. It's good though. I I mean I like this beer. I would I I'd take this over a generic, uh, Bud Light or whatever. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna say it's a six. Uh, you asked why we haven't done those, and I think that's why I know for myself I haven't chose those. None of the flavors or varieties that they have are extremely unique. They're all they they fit the mold. They're all part of the mold. It's not like we do a pale ale with uh, peppers and vanilla and juniper berries and i'm like god damn that sounds that's <laughs> that sounds really insane. unique yeah it, but it's like hey we do a really solid beer mm -hmm. they do so. yeah i'll agree with that no yeah this is a uh six boom that's a good rating for tate that's a d oh for that's tate that's, that's a, like a fucking d plus that's a that's a uh, <laughs> it's a it's bc a, it's a 60 percent bc but c70 all right what you got shriner c70 lay yeah. down that love uh, Which I don't have a ton average. of love for it. No? It's all right. Uh, I'd give it a five. I was say he fell back to this awfully quick. He was like, I want to pound this, and I can chase it. It was smooth, <laughs> and it went down fine, but uh, it's just kind of multi-hoppy. Yeah, that's it. I got you. I yeah, like, I mean, it's not a standout. It's, it's not awesome. a standout, I don't think. But it was, it was decent beer. <clears throat> I like the artwork, though. Uh, you know, as far as the hoppy beer goes, it wasn't overly whelming, overwhelmingly hoppy. Which they do say in the the video, he's like, "Hey, it doesn't have too much hops. It doesn't have too much hops. It has, it does have enough hops." Uh, I love yeah. malt flavor in my beer. I, I'm a very big malt flavor guy in a beer, and I think that that is it shines a little bit brighter than the hops. I think it brings it up a bit. As far as like a, if I had to drink a beer in the winter, I would, I would go with something like this. This is if it had a little more spice to it, which is. The, the uniqueness that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. If it was this, but with a little spicy, I think this would be great. And that's but actually my first Free State beer. Hmm. Okay. I've never had a Free State? Six at the store. 
So oh yeah. I'm guessing the if next you're, time like, I if have you're in Kansas, you're gonna find a decent. Yeah. If you're in a, if you're in Kansas and you have a beer store in your town that has a decent selection of craft beers, like cra- I said, craft it'll... beers, craft beers, uh, Free State's gonna be one of them. It'll like totally have it. They've been around for 1989. 1992. Comic book says it. Oh, it does. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that that beer though? It's I their, swear, I swear, brewery. this thing said 1982. Uh, is it was established in? Okay. I think that was the year that they released their released the year maybe. One. That makes I don't sense. Know. Okay. First but anyways, it's been it's been a while. Beer. Okay, so it's not the whole brewery. Yeah, but but, but it's been a long time. Uh, and they, uh, you know, they're a pretty good staple here in Kansas. Mm-hmm. A lot of people know Free State. I really like their Yakimaniac IPA. It's good. I've never had that. But I'm not a big IPA guy. Yeah, they make. Uh, and you if you ever go, if you ever go to like a, a music Whoa, festival or something <laughs> like that in Lawrence, like they have like a street festival like several times a year. Oh, yeah. Uh, Free State usually has uh, a little beer garden set up. Uh, What's your number? You try all their numbers. For oh okay, so as a beer, I'm gonna go with a five. Uh, it is. It's gonna lag behind some other things for me. Uh, as a pale ale, six and a half maybe. I'm gonna. I think that that's reasonable for it. I I, re- I really like the chick analogy. You know. <laughs> Ten five. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to use for, uh, for forever now. But then you have to go back and regrade, then, don't you? No, nah. no, no. Nah. Fuck Just, it. Fuck it. Change the scale. Now it's <laughs> one to three. All the old shit doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Free State. Uh, these guys make solid beers all around. Like anything I've ever tried by them, good fucking beer. Uh, Jason said he would drink this during the winter. I'd drink it. I'd drink a Copperhead like any time of the year because like it does have a little bit of a citrusy kick to where you could drink this in the summer. I don't taste um, it. And the hops are good there. I like hops. I like hoppy beers. Uh, uh, and I, and I, this is the first night I think I fucking picked a beer that wasn't hoppy because last time I like swore to myself I wasn't gonna pick an IPA and then I picked a fucking red that said hops 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 all yeah. up the fucking side. <laughs> Uh, I I I, uh, I read my beer tonight though to make sure it didn't. That's but uh, I like I like uh, I like hops and it does have a little bit of a kick there, but it's it's there? malty and smooth. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's a little bit more That's robust than your plain American pale ale. If you're used to an American pale ale, this one's got a little bit more punch to it, um, for sure. It's not it's not really mellow. It's got uh, like it's got a re- very full flavor, it's which I really robust. like. No, it, it um, does. As a beer, yeah, I'll give it like a like a six, because no. uh, it's a good, well-rounded full beer. Six, six, as five, a, five. As a as a pale ale, I'm gonna give it like a seven though, just because it has that full flavor. Um, whereas most pale ales, to me at least, like if you get just a regular pale ale, it's a little bit watered down. I think what they try to do is just sure. give it a, like a bunch most of fucking punch to it. So I'm gonna give it like a seven. Um, it's a very well-rounded beer. I would never if if I went to some a buddy's house and he was like, oh, I got copperhead, you want one of those? Like I'd never be like. No, I'm good. Like, I would take one. Uh, wait, 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 So your buddy says, I've got Copperhead. Do you make him continue down the list? Or do you say, okay, that one, that one. Uh, what else you got? Yeah. yeah. No, no, here's okay. the thing. <laughs> I would let him con- continue just because, like, maybe he has something I haven't tried. I love trying new beers. He rattles off, like, three IPAs, and you're like, fuck Copperhead. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, but that's, 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 that's not against Copperhead. It's a I love IPA. It's a preference. Like, right, right. Yeah. But, no, it's good. I'd uh, rather have this than any IPA, except for maybe the... Uh, uh, the Death Breath. What the fuck was it? Ooh. That the shoots? No, they sh- no, no, he, he, he really liked no. the Odell. The Odell. The Odell. Oh, yeah, well, the Odell. It was really smooth. It was really smooth that was, for that an IPA. That was the best IPA. God, you guys are like these new IPA fanboys. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you really go outside? I liked the Death Breath. That guy up there on oh, the top yeah. shelf. That, that was good. Uh, it was really yeah. sweet. I, I think it was because of how much of a sweet... Mm note it had afterwards really nice hey what's up really Chantel what are you nice. drinking tonight girl thanks for joining <coughs> also anybody else who's joined uh, we've, we say this again and again uh, Facebook only lets us like see certain people who join depending on who we're logged in to so we don't always get the name that pops up so we're not being we're not being assholes and only saying hello to certain people it's just we can only see certain ones uh, happy Tuesday what's up girl yeah, BBS. Day. Tuning in from about? fucking California. Yeah, what's up? What boy? She live in California. Like, also, in LA Jose. or anybody San and everybody Jose? watching. Also, share us your Stranger Things opinions, uh, opinions, yeah. reviews. We already more. did spoilers, so it, say whatever you want about it. If one of you is writing it. fan fiction, <laughs> go ahead and send it to our email. Uh, I'll read it. I'll definitely. I think read Chantel's it. probably still on season one. <laughs> Do you rest? Wait, wait, wait. Were we going fifteen thirty forty five? 
There's yeah. no fucking way because yeah. we're at the 30 minute. Chug, point. chug, <laughs> chug. All right, do it right now. There's no fucking way, dude. This uh, this next beer, I love the, the the way this next beer looks. Yeah. So it's Day Shoots Brewery. Day Shoots always does Ooh, put so beer. put Give so much. Shot, it is a winter beer. They put so much effort into their labels. <laughs> they do. That's why I love them, dude. So they're out of Bend, Sorry. Oregon. Uh, so this is the Jubal Ale, I guess is what Everything you say. Yeah, Jubal Ale. It's a festive winter ale, is what it says. Uh, it's a limited cool. time thing. You know, they only do Next it week if they've got that during this time of year. Thing. Uh, it's a what six point five percent, six point seven percent, seven percent, sixty five yeah. IBUs. Yeah. The profile says it's cocoa, dried fruit, and that. toffee notes. A robust ale with a warming not, spice. I'll it next week. Uh, I wanted to. It's starting to get cold. Oh yeah! Cheers to this. Woo! The Jubilee ale. Death shoots or however. Jason says it. Desk cahoots. Desk cahoots. Desk cahoots. Uh, if anybody who ever watched God damn, listened she's to our already podcast on season two. wasn't she like uh, not sure about it? Like it yeah, was too week. scary? Hey guys, uh, I've never seen that. We're like, stop everything. And then she left and then she did watch it. So <laughs> awesome. Yeah. We have influence. Yes. Yeah. Sarah, uh, loves, Sarah loves the label. Yeah. Dude, the, the label on these day shoots is dope. I'm telling you. Day shoots make some good beers, man. Again. Like, How many have we had? Two. On the cast, two. Okay, this is the On second. On our cast, we had another one. Yeah. What up? Yeah, our podcast. What the fuck, bro? Well, there was, <laughs> that was the lost episode, so this is the only one that they've seen. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's unless true. Unless you, were, you had the secret code, <laughs> and you were able to access unless the hidden episode. Unless you had the secret and a gram Up, down, phone. up, down, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. It was actually in a, uh, what, uh, what's, God damn it, a cryptographic was message. It, it was Carmel, hidden, yeah. encrypted. Dude, uh... Do you remember when we did that exercise Ooh. where you had to? Uh, I talked about that this y- week. You had to analyze the uh, the picture and find yeah. out which ones had uh, were odds and evens. Yeah, for, yeah. For the blue color. For the yeah. blue color, if the yeah. blue, so every pixel, we had to design a program that analyzed a picture, and every pixel that the blue was an odd color uh, was part of a hidden odd message. Odd number in a text code, or odd number in its. Uh, Odd number for its uh, uh, for its RGB yeah uh, okay. for its RGB scheme. So if it had an odd number, uh, it was part of a hidden message. And so we designed a program to where if it was odd, it made it black, and if it was even, it made it white. So it, you could see uh, the message, and it was follow oh, the white rabbit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I really thought you were gonna say it, and it was fuck you. <laughs> no, it was cool. It was, it was like, fuck you for wasting all this time. It was uh, uh, like a, a lesson in cryptography, which that's is like nice, uh, encryption. Uh, but it was, it was but like, uh, so it's encryption. Jason and I's choice this week uh i chose the jubilee it's the first beer that i've fucking chosen uh that That's wasn't either IPA. a citrus or an ipa uh Born in a sense Oregon. but uh i don't know i saw this it's starting to get real cold here i'm sure mm. fucking chantelle doesn't have to deal with Spicy. this she's not cold yet but the rest of us are getting kind of uh cold so i thought a uh, a nice wintry seasonal uh beer would be good and spicy the shoots never hasn't done me wrong yet, so. It's, I, I mean, I can taste some toastiness, like the it's the malt. Has oh been, yeah, uh, super toasted toasty. a little bit. Yeah, I think every winter <clears throat> beer just is like fuck it, beer, cocoa, boom, shelf. I think the spicy needs to be greater than the dried fruit. Uh, On the and, pie chart there, mm-hmm. and the pie chart. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, I don't get I don't get a whole bunch of dried fruit. No, nope. not a lot. I mean, I keep trying to like taste it and different, like you know, like breathe in while you drink kind of shit. You know, like like they tell you how to. Yeah. I don't know. The longer you let, it if you smell it though, too, no, smell you it. Have alcohol taste. Smell it though. Like, Take a, a deep, deep whiff taste. of it though. Like that's where a lot of the fruit is, right there. You can, yeah, you can absolutely smell fruit. But then again, I I can't think of a beer like every like that straight all smells time, like a fucking smell, like. like, uh, like Smells like honey. It always smells like honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's straight fruit, man. That's yeah. like a fucking like those fucking fruit cakes that everybody hates that you get fucking at Christmas kind of shit. Dude. Like that's what that smells like. But like taste wise, it disappears. Real that's fast. a heavy beer though. Two hundred and sixteen yeah, calories of beer. Yeah, super heavy. <laughs> Jesus, it's all that cocoa. So much for watching a figure. Man, <laughs> you you talk about fruit cake. My mom makes an awesome fucking fruit cake. You like fruit cake? I, I hope she sends me one. <laughs> if you're watching, send me a fruitcake. Mom, can we have fruitcake? I've never developed a, a taste for fruitcake. Nope. Uh, I haven't, but Everybody I, else I haven't had a good garbage. one. So, like, if you make a good one, let me change my mind, Jason. She does, like, a... Hey, let me get in on your mom's fruitcake. Absolutely. 
Just let everybody in that food cake. <laughs> damn. God damn it. Now I don't want any. <laughs> That's what they said too. <laughs> uh, no, it, it's it'll it's almost like a pumpkin bread, but instead it has walnuts and raisins. Like it's it's really good. It's just an easy right. mellow bread. It's pretty simple. Do mo- like traditional fruit cakes have more in, like add-ins? People put like fucking everything in there, like jelly beans and. Fucking red hots and airs all the shit. And Isn't it a lot of cocoa fruit cakes, and chocolate like, they're chips like, and stuff? Instead of more of a bread bread base, aren't they more of like a gelatin base in most fruit cakes? No, no I... they, they've got stuff in there, but I mean they they are like they look like it. They look all fucking jelloey, but no. I don't uh, it's been a long time since I've had a fruit cake. Dude, bread. I just speaking of, fruit. oh right. man, hopefully this year that actually happens. So for like the last six years, a good friend of ours, Melissa. Uh, she always makes us, like, she spends, like, four days baking, and then she drops off, like, 15 pounds of baked goods, and it only lasts for, like, five days, and I'm like, (laughs) you know what, I'll eat some of the pumpkin bread. Three pounds a day? And then (laughs) I might have a couple snickerdoodles, and then I'm gonna tell you I ate the rest, and then I'm gonna throw it in the trash. Millie. Hey. Hey, So this year, if she does this, then I get to share with you guys. Hey, wait a second. Yo, Millie, uh, you making them <laughs> snickerdoodles? Your boy loves a good snickerdoodle. Oh, I, I love uh, snickerdoodles. If you want, if you, if you, if you're going around, if you're going around spreading the festive love, you guys. Your boy, your boy loves snickerdoodles. My wife is a pretty amazing baker. For, is she? I'm gonna assume Thanksgiving. Yeah. Here's uh, the thing. I don't, I don't, I don't do, do a lot of baked goods. Like normally, like nobody else has checked with us. And we were going to go to her uncle's, but if we oh. have a lot of people, which you'd be invited to, so don't worry about that. But if we have a lot of people, then we'll be closer to the house. So, no, continue. Please. I was going to say, I, I, conversation. No, you're good. Uh, <laughs> you that all the time. I just didn't want to, like, yell at uh, I don't normally you're do a lot of baked goods. Now, like, like I'll, okay. I'll, uh, <laughs> dude, I'm hot on that mic. It's fucking, <laughs> uh, I don't, like, I'll pass up cake at a birthday party because, like, I don't do a, I, like, I don't know. Certain cakes I'm good with, but, like, I'm not really into baked goods. Well, I like, like, cake. as far as dessert, uh, it's not my thing. But snickerdoodle cookies, for sure, and, like, citrusy baked goods. Oh, I thought you were going to say peanut butter cookies. A good oh, peanut dude. butter cookie. Yeah, cookies. no, no, I'm good with that. Yeah. Mm, okay. Nothing beats there a ginger snap. Oh, man. As far as I'm concerned. What a season. What dude, a season. So, like, they, uh, uh, well, my mom always, up by Hutch, they have, like, a, a Mennonite community, yep, and they have these little teeny tiny ginger snap cookies, like I think really they call hard them, ginger snaps. Yes, yeah, what do they call them? They call them, uh, oh, are you talking out of Yoder? Chocolate turd in the middle, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, Th- those I know what you're really talking about. Like, I think what it's called. They're a holiday <laughs> ginger snap cookie, they're about this big, yeah, and they're super hard. Oh my god, I love them, but like my they mom always good. made ginger cookies, ginger snaps. Favorite. Now you guys are down. making me a liar because I'm like, no, for real though, peanut butter cookies and also ginger snap. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like my main thing is like, if, if there's a snickerdoodle cookie, dude, I don't turn it down. Oh, and if there's a citrusy like, like lemon anything, lemon bar, to this, fucking Ooh. in it. Sarah in loves it. lemon. Sarah loves lemon. Uh, for your snickerdoodles, do you like them as a harder cookie or a soft? Cookie? I like soft cookies. Soft yes, cookies. I don't like yes. hard cookies. And, a ginger oh. snap is the exception, but because you Love can't it. have a soft ginger snap. Now, I'm looking up what this cookie's yeah. called. You can't uh, have a soft. Oh, but other right. than that, like soft cookies every day. Yeah. Yes. It yes. should. It should like start folding in my fingers. Yep. Like slowly. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. That is. Chili that is the way I like the peanut butter cookies. I don't want no. <laughs> the the only one that I like a little a little firm, not not too firm, a little firm. But chocolate chip cookies, I like them to be able to like if I hold it, I want it to be. A cookie. I'm not a big That's chocolate chip, a nice chip cookie, cookie dude. dude. Yeah, oh, I'm not big on chocolate chip cookies at all. Dude. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah, but still soft. Yeah, just not fucking. Like I yet. real, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of fucking hate that. As like an Americanized favorite cookie, like chocolate chip is like that's your standard cookie. Oh, I think because nice, I'm not big on them. Just I love them. hot chocolate chip cookie right out of the oven. Oh yeah. man, even then, man. Oh man, yeah. I'll take. I'll like seriously. My mom made them hot I'll cocoa take, ones. And pumpkin ones. That was yeah, the, I was like, where the fucking chocolate chip? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, those cocoa ones were good. Dude, all those they were, were right. bomb as fuck. They were man. good, but... How do you spell Mennonite? M-E-N-N... Sarah asked if it was the Yoder community. Mennonite. Uh, M-E-N-N-O-N-I-T-E. What is that? Like a half Amish? Mennonites, they're... Different 
communities. Like yeah. there's the Yoder, Mennonites, yeah, Mormons. Amish. Yeah. The Mormons, I'm pretty sure, can have electricity yeah. and shit. <laughs> yeah, Mormons are different. And they get like eight wives. I think pepper it comes nuts. From birth. Peppernuts might be where, that. I think that is it. Or, that sounds true. Yeah. Hoover nickels or something. No, it, peppernuts is that probably no. Yeah. Oh. If it's the small ones, gingerbread brights, Fufernus. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a weird name. I gotta know uh, how many people you graduated with now, since I know how many people Neff and Tate graduated with. He was graduated with like twelve people. Was it twelve or 11. six? Eleven. Teresa was a six. Oh, you mean high school, not, yeah. not college. Uh, I, think I didn't like, graduate college, motherfucker. I, I think there was like <laughs> 640 of us. Damn. In yeah. high school? Yeah, we, we were a huge school, but it was because we had all of the surrounding communities. Because I lived in Arizona, so it was all the small towns around us. Uh, I mean, the next closest school was two hours away. Damn. So I mean, it was all of those places well, around that us. That would have been a big-ass school. Yeah, it was. It was, it was huge. It was... Probably as big, if not bigger, than our K State Salina campus. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was it was really really big, but then K State Salina is really sparse. <laughs> <laughs> so it, yeah. it's empty. Uh, it's big, but empty. It's so. it's Pfeffernus, okay. uh, which is I think that's Swedish, actually. But there are these little teeny tiny. It's P F. Pfeffernus is pepper nut. It's probably yeah, German. Yeah. 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 So it's okay. Well, they're probably right. And that's yeah. Mennonite. Mennonite is German. So that's yeah. that. Uh, so P F E F F. You remember that? R in U S S E. I started studying German. No, I studied I studied German in high school because like I don't know I took that class I didn't want to learn Spanish and like Spanish obviously would have been like way more valuable to me. But you're like pepernut. I'm like yeah, that means pepper nut. That's German. Like alternative name pepper nut. Yeah. So the ones that I have are not coated. They have like a little sprinkling on the top. Yeah. They are. They're a very crunchy, small. Uh, ginger cookie and oh my we're look, god we're looking up pictures of the cookies most people they're like what are you talking about they uh, are so we're good we're on google right I'm now looking at pictures. I can't see it. they are can. so good everybody's like you guys are like, one, one so up by Hutchison they're like Yoder <laughs> like what you guys are saying there's that Mennonite community you can go to the Whole Foods store there and during the winter season you can get the Pfeffernus in bags and they're just yep. they're about the size of a quarter and a you bigger, will eat the whole bag much. the whole bag they're Before so you even get back to town, they're gone. Oh, dude. they're good. They're good, dude. I agree. One. Oh, look at look at the little sign above the U, Pfeffernus. Yeah, that's absolutely German. That's an umlaut. That's what that's called. Umlaut. 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 There you know. All right. There you go. Now, I fucking, I now you know. One, I finally taught Tate something. Tate has taught me a lot of things in our uh, year and some odd of friendship. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are toasting, and I'm over here thinking Tate taught you how to properly jerk off a dude. Because he was talking about that earlier. <laughs> and now that's on the internet forever. Uh. <laughs> and then you see you see how ashamed Tate is? He's like, I told you that in confidence. <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure out where the fuck this came from. <laughs> Your gay beanie where you were jerking off guys in the winter to keep warm. Do you not, My gay beanie? Do you not remember <laughs> My mom made this! <laughs> <laughs> you dick! So when Tate so was, she taught you how to jerk off the guys in the winter when it was cold. Is that is that what she Tate said? Tate sent us, Tate sent us a picture while he was in Chicago, uh, the week that he missed, and it was him in that beanie, uh, like, "Hey, what's up?" And like the first thing that Jason said was like, "That beanie's fucking gay." Oh, it, it was immediate. It was like gay beanie. It was like yeah, yeah. not even within a fucking minute response. Like, he's on vacation, just getting hated on. Uh, oh, Sarah then, said s'mores bars sound good. Oh, Sarah makes good s'mores bars. But then Tate was like, my mom made this. I was like, oh, man, your mom knew for a long time that you were gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, this is the first time that we've had, like, a Jason hate uh, moment. We don't even have I, uh, time for that. Uh, <laughs> I hope one day that you can meet my mom. I met uh, your mom. Yeah, we met your mom. Okay, I hope you meet her in a feisty, uh, a feisty mood. She seemed pretty uh, feisty. Oh, man. She was showing tattoos Woo! way up in places that I was like, oh. Probably shouldn't show me this. I know your son. <laughs> I don't mow your lawn. They'll, they'll yeah, do let's this do a review. We're through. Through. It's a heavy oh my beard. God, we are it's 45 beard. minutes in. We're 45 minutes in. Let's do uh, 15, Damn. 45, Dude, the, <laughs> and uh, an hour and a half, I guess. I it's a, it. it's a lot just, bigger beer than I was expecting. It's you have 15 full. for the first one, 30 for the second one, 45 for the next. Actually, you said 45, hour and a half. Yeah, so 45 for the next. Yeah. That's a big steady progression. Uh, I think an hour and 15. I think you finally understand us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, We're just easing our way into it. Fuck. We're all responsible adults. Mm. Or some of us. Dude, I love these transitions. Good job. What's up with that? Boom. Ow, fuck. Mm. 
for that he's, ring. He's got that big old fucking ring on his hand. <laughs> fucking just like <laughs> smokes my hand. I watch the fuck out. <laughs> no, man. Oh, Chris, man, you fucking do so much for this cast. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm. This is our boy. He sets shit up. We let's, just get drunk. Let's reverse it up. Let's, let's start with Neff over here. With oh, the, we're going to uh, do the review. This is right Neff's now. pick. Mm-hmm. I enjoy shit like this. Wait, wait, wait. Being Celebrate the, the 30th bottling for the first time mode. ever. This year's packaging features... Not one, but a series of custom snowflake themed illustrations. So we were just talking about the the snowflake illustrations. Oh, so that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Here's the thing: yeah. is this, this does that mean that like does that mean like Malia. we get this bottle, but like the next person who gets a different like package, they might get a different no, snowflake it's by thing. year. Ah, oh, okay. Because 2017 artists. Yeah, and they're giving oh. credit to the artists right there, which is totally cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's badass. For sure. The okay. color. The so, color is great. In January, I'm sure they'll have a new one. Right. New so, okay. So, dish shoots. Uh, these guys are fucking awesome. Uh, Sam is earlier. Free State. Very solid beers all around. I will say, they shoot definitely. Uh, I think, like, they step it up. They give you a, a lot more, like, uh, individuality with their beers. Mm. For sure. Uh, they don't play middle of the field. This is, a, this is a seasonal by them. I figured it was getting cold. So, like, a winter ale would be perfect. Like, you know, I'm going to break up the first seasonal, like, I'm cold weather did. beer. It was cold today. I was right. hoping for a winter uh, beer. And, and here's the thing. I said earlier, too, like, earlier in the cast, several episodes probably, like, once it starts getting colder, like, I like heavier beers. This is definitely a fucking, like, big beer. It's got some uh, some body to it. Surprising. Um, yeah, the description on it uh, was cocoa, dry fruit, and toffee notes. I don't get a lot of the dry fruit and the flavor. Uh, the smell smells only like fruit to me. I get that, yeah. Uh, so I totally, I totally see they're on that. That the toffee, it's kind of to me hidden. Um, I don't know. I keep trying to taste this like over and over again. Uh, like back of tongue, front of tongue, everything. I don't get a lot of the toffee. Uh, it's very full body, but it's crisp, which is unusual to me because normally you get like a full body beer, it's very smooth. But like a lot of this hits me in the front of the tongue. Uh, you mentioned that, yeah. It does. <laughs> but uh, no, this is especially for a seasonal. Like this is a really good fucking beer. Um, I would absolutely only drink it in the winter though, because it's super <laughs> fucking heavy. <laughs> uh, it's super fucking heavy. Uh, as an then over, I I can't even give it two different ratings because like a winter ale. Like how many fucking winter ales do you try? As a beer, I'm gonna give this. A seven and a half. Wow, that's really high. I am honestly I'm gonna, surprised. I'm going to give it a seven and a half because, I don't know, maybe it's the, because of, um, it's the first seasonal beer of the winter. Uh, I don't know, it's, 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 a, it's a really spirit. good beer. Um, I think be screwed. I think Man, they kind so I think, of No, I think they kind of fucking nailed it as far as like what they said you're going to taste and you did kind of, like what their notes were. I don't get any toffee. I think that's my biggest complaint. I but I thought that's what you were worried about. You're like, Man, I, get, I, I, I don't some, like toffee, but... I, I get a little bit of that, that caramel. I mean, mm -hmm. I, when I think coffee... To, I'm not a toffee guy. Like, I don't do that... What, what do they call that? Toffee where they put it in the fucking machine? Uh, my, that's saltwater taffy. That's not quite the same. Okay, same, different fucking thing. <laughs> I, I was uh, like, taffy, <laughs> toffee. About, like, taffy. No, no, no. Pools? no okay, so yeah. No, I'm on the that's toffee cool. bandwagon. I get, I get some of the toffee. Yeah. Uh, I get a little bit of it. Uh, I will say this, like, uh, as far as this thing goes here, flavor-wise... I think the dried fruit is definitely like way too much on their little uh, diagram in the corner. I don't know about roasty. But uh, no, it's definitely like a multi roasty. It's roasty to me. Uh, deep beer. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with like a like a seven. Seven. I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that my number and let it pass it on because I'm gonna talk about this all night if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, winter beers. Uh, I was just telling Chris. I feel like every beer is like you know what we got Budweiser, Cocoa, boom. Winter, winter Budweiser. We got fucking <laughs> Copperhead. Boom, cocoa. Winter Copperhead. Everything does cocoa, and this does a heavy cocoa. It doesn't do it bad. Don't get me wrong. It's just I, I've had this same beer from. Uh, I know Lennon Kugel does it. I know uh, Sam Adams does a similar one. Uh, I definitely know Blue Moon does a similar one. It's just it's that same flavor over all of it, which is. It's a nice, hearty beer and cocoa. So I don't... 
there's nothing outstanding to me in this. That's why I was really looking forward to dried fruit. I was like, oh man, there's there's some good fruit pairings that would really go well with a cocoa. Like if I can taste some grape in there or some cherry or something like that, something afterwards where I was like, ooh yeah. But the only the only bit of dried fruit I get is like after I'm done drinking it. Like if you just kind of let it set, like not the drink, but just your mouth closed for a minute, you get some you get some of that notes from just like. I don't want to say your saliva, but just like that aftertaste in oh, your mouth. Apricot, maybe. Kind of that. I would go with that. Actually, get, that's what I was going to say. Like, ap- like apricot, mango, kind of like yeah. it, it that is, type of fruit. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But I don't get toffee notes. Uh, this, I could see you watch a Christmas movie and you see people drinking at a bar, all covered up in their their whatever their giant coats and their big floppy hats and everything. This is the beer they drink. I can see yeah. that. I can absolutely see that. Like a fucking uh, Eskimo? Yeah. <laughs> but I would say, okay, so you say, you, you say you've had other ones that are like this, though. Yep. But, like, if you had to choose those over this, would you choose one of those, or would you go with the Deschutes? Oh, you know what? Linen Kugel does a vanilla snowdrift porter. You I Linen Kugel, that. bitch. He I, is I, a Linen Kugel, bitch. I, I there is no doubt that. That's cool. Yeah, like, but Why has it got to be a bitch on the end? <laughs> he, he has got the Linen Kugel hard on. There was no Dude, doubt. we almost drank pomegranate shandy tonight, so <laughs> just throwing that out there. you guys see Chantel's fucking question? <laughs> she says, beer. speaking of beer, when, which also, don't start this sentence with speaking of beer. When it has nothing to do with beer. Crumbles they don't. Bad. They do not. Uh, blue cheese is literally Jeez. like molded cheese, so like they can't go bad. Just put it on your fucking salad and enjoy it. Right. Don't, it's gonna don't, be don't do that. So, blue cheese, expiration date. Bad. We went over to my in-law's <laughs> house. I hope he's watching tonight. Since uh, the the games are over now, so Anthony, we go to his house one week, and I, we're having a salad, and he drops off all these dressings, and he's like, "What do you like? Ranch, blue cheese?" I'm like, "Blue cheese." I'm like, "Great." So I go to put this blue cheese on, and I sprinkle it all over my stuff, and I set it in front of me, and I don't remember what I was doing. I was looking through it to something else for some reason, and I see that this shit has expired like three years before. Ooh. And I've taken like four bites of my salad already. I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you didn't die, and it still tasted alright. I was like, there's a big difference. Yeah, but it. But that's like blue if cheese If it wasn't dressing. opened, maybe. Don't be a pussy. Oh no. But no, Don't there's be a difference a pussy. between. Because here's the thing. Yeah. You blue didn't che- even fucking know when you're eating it. No, listen. Blue nope. cheese. Blue cheese dressing has like a lot of shit in it Three that years, could spoil. Bro. Yeah. But the blue cheese itself, Three I don't think necessarily. Years. Wine? Three years. Good wine is aged way That's more than that. Actually, shit tells us oh, it's already oh. inside my mouth. So. So, <laughs> so you say good wine. You're good. Everybody thinks you're that good. every no, wine can good, age. Girl. It's only very, very, very intentional wines that can age. Blue cheese, though? And ain't... that's different than fucking cheese. Dude. No, blue cheese I'm is moldy you, fucking cheese. Know, Did you feel funny the next day? It, it's Did got, you feel funny? Steak is moldy meat with the mold scraped off. But you still so, eat that so, shit three years later. Some aged cuts are, yeah, absolutely. But blue Get cheese, shit. it's made in a certain <laughs> yeah. way. So there's two types of mold that are in it. There's the intentional blue mold. But there's also additional mold that can get on it. And that yeah. other mold is just going to make you stronger. <laughs> just fucking eat it. Here's the thing. Is this I like agree. the old Ninja Turtles movie where he's like, it's just got penicillin on it. And yeah. he's talking about the moldy no. pizza. Eat dirt, I'm saying like, eat dirt, rub dirt on your fucking wounds. I'm saying like, it I it. get not wanting to eat old blue cheese uh, dressing because the dressing itself has other shit that could fuck you up if it's too old. The blue cheese itself, I don't think will fuck you up if it gets any amount of mold. No. Oh, that, that mold. mold. It doesn't have, like, an additional mold on it. Like, if it's additionally moldy, it's got a new strain of bacteria in it. Let me tell you what. The human race has been around for a while. If we were fucking vulnerable to some shit, we, we wouldn't be around. We were until they we... started babying everybody. Man, if if everybody got to drop fucking toasters in the bathtub because they didn't have warning labels and they got to put peanuts in everybody's meal, I would survive a toaster drop. Yeah. I would survive a toaster drop. In well, would the you fucking survive bathtub. the peanuts on your school lunch? No. Fuck yes. But that, that's my point. If if it wasn't so coddled, we wouldn't have this huge surge since the 1860s. What we've tripled in size. Dude, fucking I challenge any toaster you got on the market. <laughs> I'm fucking in the bathtub? In the bathtub. In the bathtub. Let's go. Man, uh, so everybody, waiver, next week. We'll do this. <laughs> so everybody, uh, <laughs> next week's cast, we're going to be dropping uh, uh, toaster ovens in the uh, fucking I'm gonna bathtub. I'm going to need a fucking waiver. 
Well, you own my property. What was your favorite bath toy, T? Go over to the house. I got a strong breaker. It won't flip. Well, my, my favorite bathtub fucking... Oh, God. Jesus Christ. My favorite bathtub fucking toy was a fucking Walmart brand toaster. Like, Oh, man. <laughs> All right. You gave it a what? Oh, I don't even remember now. Uh, winter beer. I'm going to give it a six and a half as a winter beer. As What what type of beer was it? Nope, it's a one. festive winter mm-hmm. ale. Yeah. So, ale. It is an ale. As an ale... I'm gonna go even lower. I'm gonna go five. I mean, I I wouldn't buy this any other time than the winter. And even in the winter, I'd buy a different brand. For me, anyways, it's not bad. I wouldn't pass it up just like this evening. But I'd never, I'd never buy it. Yeah, we're gonna have so many leftover beers after this episode. <laughs> we already have uh, more than a mini fridge worth of beer. I don't like it. You don't? <laughs> God damn it! I'm never gonna fucking like, that pick one a beer was brutal. that everybody likes, man. It's been a slow. Drink. I want to pick a, a goddamn minute, craft that favorite was a beer. Thirty minute of fucking beer. Yeah. Usually I can drink four in that amount of time. Yeah. yeah. It, it's heavy. I like this dude. guy. He drinks like I do. You you pound out your six pack and then a few extra and then you're good for the whole evening. It's it's uh, a heavy like it's a long drink. Don't plan on getting a six pack of this and finishing it in a fucking hour. If you do, hands off to you, dude. Like I, I like the caramely toffee flavor. I get that. The dried fruit, I don't get that you guys are talking about. It's not there in the taste. The pie chart's way off. I like the art. It's clean. It looks professional. But I won't buy it. Oh I, yeah, I, I give it a four. I guess I'd say that. I, I like. I'm but not gonna go back to that. I'm story tempted to give it a three, but I'll give it a four. Brutal. I think beers like this are great for like a day where you're having chili and it's maybe snowy. That that'd be perfect. If I had three or four of these and some chili, spicy chili, and it was snowy, I think it would be great. I don't know. But I get to eat after drinking. We should have them. a chili. A chili yeah, night. I could not eat a bowl of chili after drinking like we, one of these. We should do a chili night. You yeah. make your, your whatever your taco or whatever you want. Yeah. We the, should do a chili night. I like I make a good chili. Dude, he makes that. a mean fucking chili. He made what well, it was with lamb. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. I, I normally make I can beer make some meat. good chili, man, but it's not spicy. I don't do it like super spicy. I don't like, do it's, super spicy. It's got a good amount of spice, but like oh, just enough. I normally yeah. do a venison chili. Uh, I like <coughs> I like some good venison. But I, I dude, if I'm, you can cook venison like your brother, I'm, all I'm, day I'm pretty, I'm there. No, no. Who do you that think taught my brother? Good, man. Yeah, Who do you think taught my brother how to cook venison? <laughs> not you. Uh, <laughs> fuck yeah, I did. I was hunting way before he was. Uh, I'm zebras. Go for it. Yeah, okay, let's yeah. start these. You gotta let's open break it. those out, too, man. We're fucking uh, way overdue, but... So, apparently, Neff and I share a common brain wavelength as far as... Uh, IPAs and winter beers? Well, it's just as far as, like, preferences and everything. Um, oh, mean, wait, did you... Thanks, you cameraed that up earlier, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, Okay, good. Uh, so, day shoots, uh, I applaud them in the uh, fact that they don't do... Cahoots. <laughs> I, I I applaud them in the fact that they do not do a a timid beer. Like I mean the the free state beer that we had, I mean it, it's good, but there's nothing that stands out about it. Yeah, it's there's, there's, solid. It, it's 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 not like a remember you know a memorable beer. Uh, oh my god! But every every day shoots beer that I've ever had has character and it's unique. Yeah. Uh, and this one, I mean, it's not a disappointment as far as that goes. The, the Jubilee Ale love this. is bold. Uh, I, I get the toffee notes in my on my tongue. I don't really get too much, uh, no, too much of the fruit. Sorry. I get a little bit of an apricot slash uh, mango aftertaste, but I actually get more of the fruit. And the, the smell, smell. Of, the yeah. fruit yeah. is absolutely in the smell. Uh, but it is a, a spicy, intense, and it's also very uh, malt uh, like toasty. You can you know that they took those the. The malt and they toasted them. They were dark. Oh, uh, yeah. They were uh, well, them motherfuckers. So <laughs> yeah, no, no, they toasted the shit out of them motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing, like with me, like I said, with a good winter beer, I want that shit like toasted, heavy, yeah. thick, and I absolutely got it out of this beer. When, when I first started I drinking agree. this, I just don't like the, the, yeah, the, yeah. the first half of this beer I didn't like as much as the second half of the beer. The second half of the beer I like a lot better. I, I've I've settled in, it's 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 come onto my palate and it's kind of mellowed out and now I really like it. When I first started, I was like, mm, I don't know, but I'm gonna say what I I give uh, the uh, I give that one a six, and that's that's a middle of the road beer. I'm gonna give this one c- just because it's it's bold, it's dominant. I'm gonna give it a seven. 
Take giving a beer a seven. I can, I can beer sevens all the time now. Come on. <laughs> I think that's the second one you've yeah. given a seven. Yeah, like, I can do it all the time. The except third for just one never you've on given cast. over a six. <laughs> <laughs> I gave a nine to that peanut butter stout. You what? did. Speaking that's of, crazy. You never, you never gave a rank last week to the uh, that blueberry one. How did you feel about the blueberry? Oh, yeah. That was nuts. That beer, I mean... I had one tonight. <laughs> that night that we were there, I fucking... I took one in my six-pack. A uh, minute now, I took one, and uh, it was my chef. It, I thought some pack. motherfucker kicked over the door. I thought kicked we were getting raided. I thought door. we were getting raided. Like <laughs> SWAT. Just fucking, like, what's SWAT up? fucking oh, busted yeah, that it door scared down. scared me a little bit. I was that like, was oh, awesome. that's it. I, I think I'm pissing my pants. No, uh, <laughs> it, was my, it was my shower beer. <laughs> I get off work, oh, I have to take I a like shower, shower real quick beer. before I show Good up, and uh, it was fucking amazing. No, that blue, it's called Blue Point, right? Uh, no, yeah. Pitch oh. Blue. Pitch okay. Blue, yeah. That, yeah. I mean, that's another beer. That's not like anything I've ever Super tasted Super unique. Before. I've never had Wait a beer Wait till like you that. try this. I just started this. It's fucking nuts. It is fucking nuts. I was hoping he was going to jump into it at the same time I did. So we had a, a 6.5, <laughs> right? Uh, I, For the... I think I give it a 7. Six, six, five, seven. Right, what'd you give it? I gave it a seven. Four. I gave it a six then. Okay. Four, five, Probably. six, seven. Mm, that's my least I think that's the first time that Tate's rated a beer higher than anybody else. Yeah. It's a good beer. It is a good beer. You I really enjoy it. I'm not saying it's a bad <laughs> beer. I'm just saying there are other places that make the exact same beer better. We got a couple of new cold. Oh no! Yeah. You're gonna drink this and you're gonna want to put it down. It's fucking good, man. Oh, oh, I got a piece of that, dude. I've been like, I've been excited since like after beer. this thing, but oh, oh you fucking gosh. dick! <laughs> I fucking, I soon, I knew as soon as I. I gotta go out. too, but you have at it. Oh, so, uh, hour and fifteen mark. Are we uh, rate I, the next one? Yeah, ten minutes. Good. Yeah, let's do of, that. Of pissing and relaxing. It, it, okay, so we got thrown off. We have three beers tonight. I know we promised, like, what was it, the 15 and the 45? 15 and 45. But, uh, you know, we we got we got given a three a, a free third beer uh, by, like I said, a guy that me and Chris work with. So, like, we couldn't say no. That's free beer, baby. That's good mm. all day. Mm. Uh, so, so you got to give us the, the first drink and then a second. It takes the second one. I'm like interested to see what this because here's the thing. Uh, it's a fucking trip. This is a new beer by Founders, probably one of the newest from newest. July 17th of 2017, my woman's birthday. There you go. She was born in 2017. This was on Leahy's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Leahy's birthday. But uh, I haven't met yet, but you know she's Founders born. makes amazing beers. Founders is responsible for us getting together as an oh. entire. Woo! God. Yeah. Damn. Uh. And, and and I've seen this several times, but like at first we, we were strictly like, well, now we're going bottles, but we've kind of like run out of options. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, but I've been eyeballing this, oh. so I'm excited to have it. I'm gonna wait till I get back. Mm. What, what is this described as? Delicious, isn't it? <laughs> this is fucking Damn, dude. amazing. Oh wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pee oh first. Man, is that a, have, so good? How would we good. pronounce this? Ghost style ale? I think ghost, ghosty or ghosty or I ghost. I, I would say I think the E is silent. Goose? Goes? 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 Okay, Google that shit and then yep. go to pronunciation. Yep. Uh, G- Pepper play, Noose! Play the, play the sound button whenever. Yeah. <laughs> over and over again. Ghost. You just gotta do ghost for the sound. If you just... Okay. Don't listen. It's cool. I won't. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's both of us! We are on point tonight. <laughs> Goza. That's not how what that says. It said it at the end. 19 second video. Beer fan, 2015. Hey, it's Marty again. Here to tell hey, you about another Marty. beer that's recently on the scene, kind of rediscovered recently. Some people say it's Goz. It's actually Goza. 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 Bam. Hey, Goza. Just, okay, so just thinking about it, does everybody does anybody remember the name of the people from Founders that were here that night? Cheese. 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 That's the only one. I think yeah. that's the only one who ever gave us their name. There's another dude. That's why chick, nicknames though. are dominant. Over right. Oh, dude, names. you remember them? Yeah, they're not just like. Do you remember uh, well, him? Okay, for that, so or do you remember say... him because he was like, 
Look what I smuggled in my wallet. Where does it say? <laughs> where does it say the word that you guys didn't know how there to pronounce? There was part of that. Goes. Goes. Right goza. 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 It's uh, a goza style ale. Yep. Brewed with watermelon and sea salt. Did you try goza. it? No. No. Goza. Okay. Say um, it with with an goza. S. Goza. Not goza. goza. There's goza. A, because here's the thing. Like uh, a lot of like simple oh, oh. like letter pronunciations between like an S and a Z can mean two different things. Are we gonna dry this at the same time? All right. Yeah. Same time, One. man. Same time. Two girls at the same time, man. One, two, two boys, three. one Go. pounders. Woo. That's How like a nuts. Is that? It's a salty watermelon. That's a but sour it's, beer. And it's a little sour. It's a little sour, That's but a sour beer. Oh, it did not linger. It, like it hits your palate and then it's like. Pfft. Wait till the second flavor. Whenever you're expecting that, and then it's watermelon. I got it on the very end of that fucking, fucking nuts. first drink. That's crazy. I really like it. Yeah. It's oh. super good. Uh, and th- that's oh. It's of- like, no, it's, here's the thing. And it's perfect because like green zebra, like a very like green watermelon to where it still has a little bit of a sour kick to it. Like I can see biting into one and that's the flavor you fucking get. Oh, My man. least favorite flavor, oh. if it's Jolly Ranchers or whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter, is watermelon. Oh. Least favorite. And this is, I really like this. It's like a sour fucking water. Like the salt. It's like, it, like here's the thing. They like salty watermelon. I'm like, super fucking salty. Like if you took, if you if you had a piece of watermelon and you're like, this is juicy as fuck, and you dipped it in a thing of like kosher salt and then ate that, that's what this fucking beer is, dude. Sarah, if you're watching, you can come down here and have a drink. Girl, you better hurry. Come get it. You better hurry. She it loves be water. Ever. It's loves phenomenal. Loves watermelon. No man, this, this is, is crazy. Wow, yeah, it's a beer. I love it. I I think it's really good. And like I was saying, I was telling them when you were gone, oh, watermelon's so normally good. my least favorite flavor. Like I am not a watermelon mm-hmm. guy. It's only got but ten IBUs. A lot of people hate watermelon artificial. Yeah. Ten IBUs, only four point six percent alcohol. Uh, that's not like terrible though. Not super low. Uh. 10 IBUs, though, so that's the bitter. It's not a yeah. bitter beer. No. Like, the last beer we had was 65 IBUs. This yeah. Was 10. it? The yeah. Yeah. It was 65%. Or, or 65 the first IBUs, 6.7%. Yeah, 65 IBUs, 6.7%. Holy shit. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Chewy! <laughs> She's like, oh, I gotta try it. You have to try a first drink, because it's gonna shock you a little bit. And do you a gotta second try one. a second, yeah. second drink. A second one. Check it. <laughs> Did you get off my beer, homeboy? What are you thinking? You don't love what are you thinking? Yeah. Come on, Chewy. Come on. <laughs> Good boy. Thanks, sir. I knew she'd get one. She, she watches us do these sometimes, like the peanut butter one and the blueberry one, and she's like, I just wanted to come down and drink it. I just wanted to drink it. I was like, that's the point of the show. Yeah. It's the whole point. Yeah. We want you guys to like be mouth watering right now. Like, oh my God, Dude, I this, want one of those. This makes, after you taste that first drink, it makes your mouth water. Like it does a nice sour. I wish we would have picked this towards the beginning of the cast when I, it was hot out. I was just thinking, I was just thinking, I looked at this beer four <laughs> weeks ago and said, I'm, I, I might want to get that. I, I've been I, I, eyeballing it like, Yeah, same oh, thing. But so it was cans. We, we have been doing bottles. So what have I, like, I been okay. doing? This is a good beer. Yeah. Like, especially, this is a perfect summer beer. This oh, is, my God. And dude. just like I was saying earlier, this is not a middle-of-the-road beer. This is a bowl. Mm-hmm. Not the norm. So this is a experiment. Is this Ooh. gone so right? It came out in yeah. this is July. Sour. Is this going to be they there? some shit in. They're like, <laughs> Is this going to be an all-year beer for them? Do you know? Or is It's it been around season? for a long time. I would say it came out in the summer, so I imagine it's, it's going to be... Uh, a I think this is a regular seasonal. Yeah. It's uh, that sour note oh, really man, makes it. It's if, sour, if it didn't dude. have the sour to it, it wouldn't be as good. That sour helps make it. That is that's a, what I'm saying. Like the salty watermelon is like it's. If you're gonna get some saltier, it's not like sprinkle. It's like I dip that shit in kosher. Mm-hmm. Here we go, baby. <laughs> what I like about this too it's is bite. it's a six pack from Founders, which is somewhat unusual for some of their beers. They're usually they're they're strong with four packs on some of their heavier stuff. Yep. But it's a six pack. It's nine bucks. That's normal craft beer price. The, yeah. I will. I oh god. I will buy yeah. this again. I will probably buy this this week. Like I love. <laughs> thing, I love Walnut River. Out of uh, wait, wait, did you show this to the camera? No. No. Oh, do it. Absolutely. You gotta do, it. do it. You gotta do it. Cheers, baby. <laughs> oh. 
God, the this is the green zebra. The pain in the ass of being the Dana White of the group. Did we even say the fucking name of the beer yet? This is the green zebra. My founder. Woo! Oh shit! The the filter's doing some crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Sarah just tried it and she's like, "I'm getting some for tomorrow's cast." Yeah. So. <laughs> no. This Look show. at that green screen going whoop, whoop. on. Look at that. Look at that green <laughs> screen. <laughs> <laughs> No, you you can see it above him too. Yeah, Obviously, you can see it on the, on the oh, wait, screen. I went but... this way, but it's not this way. It's this way. Uh, Sarah says she's getting some for tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. It's it's fucking good. This is oh shit. This is a good beer. Charles Winters from class just joined. What's up, Charles? What's up, Charlie? Charles? Hey. This is our beer podcast. We drink wait, beer. This is Charlie. Charles. I added him. I said Charlie. I don't know. Huh? I wait. added him as a friend earlier. So yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, shows when he joins. Yeah. He's a uh, he's good guy to roll with. We're drinking the green zebra, bro. Man, it's this good. is a fucking good beer. Yeah. Oh, no. It burps a little bit. Uh, Founders is out of where? Michigan? Yep. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. Yep. Man, those guys were so awesome. They... they we, I'm going to talk about this over and over and over again. Anytime we have one of these beers, we came together as us four on a night when Founders, out of Michigan... Mm. Came to Salina, Kansas because uh, Crown Distribution was like starting to distribute yep. them in the area, and that night was so fucking epic. Like it was such a good time, so much fun. Those like the people who were representing that company could not have been a better group of people to represent yeah. like a craft beer. They followed us. Company. from Speakeasy to yeah. Big Nose. Julie never yeah. made our fucking T-shirts. <laughs> Julie. You promised us t-shirts. <laughs> t-shirts. Yeah, she remember she's like, do I need to make you guys Bros Day 2017 t-shirts? Oh, yeah. And then you were like, that was like the like, ultimate bro. Day. We, 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 we <laughs> need to find out exactly that day and celebrate that day. Yeah. Uh, with oh, absolutely, absolutely, I don't man. have my old phone. It, it, it's on my old phone from whenever I text everybody and was like, hey, you want to come? Hey, we can figure come? it out. Hey, you want to come? We can figure I mean, it out. Figure it out. I think it was in April. I, don't I want to say it was in April. It was yeah. a while back. It was yeah. a long time. It We're going to make it a, a yearly celebration. Find out what's up, Mary? We... Hey, what's up? What are you drinking <laughs> hey, tonight, girl? Hey, Mary. Mary's so much fun, dude. She's like like the most timid, mild girl you ever meet. But like once like Two you drinks. break through that. Two drinks. Yeah. Once you break through that, Woo! she's so much fun. She's Two so drinks funny. and she's doing jujitsu moves. <laughs> <laughs> she like, might, dude. She's if throwing you piss her off, naked. If you piss her off, she might break your arm. She does like, do you watch It's Always Sunny where Mac does his like fucking fake kung fu? <laughs> no, she's she's That's an awesome girl. That's how he dances girl. out on the dance floor. She's an awesome girl. She uh, <laughs> she's part of our D and D group. Jason and I play D and D with her and Jason's wife, uh, and then her boyfriend uh, DMs for us, and it's a good time. It's a great time. But uh, no, uh, man, this fucking beer though, right? It's beer and good. founders, Woo! yeah, we do need to have a Woo-hoo! yearly celebration. Man. Of bro day, anniversary day, yeah, <laughs> for sure, man. We go out and do nothing but drink founders all evening. Mary, what are you drinking tonight? I know you're drinking a little bit. Come on. Come on, girl. Mm. It's, she's like, it's Tuesday. Corona? <laughs> school tomorrow. Corona or Heineken, right? Or Jake's all Heineken. She's Corona, right? No, she's Heineken. She's Heineken. They do Heineken and Coors. She's a Heine girl? Heine. Oh, yeah. Heine, Heine and Coors. That's right. She likes that skunky beer. Yeah. Uh, man. But she, she's tried, like, I, I, I usually bring, like, whatever I can find. I'll bring like a weird beer and she'll try it and she normally goes for it. Bring some oh, of this. They, I was gonna yeah. say they asked about the blueberry one. I know Jake did. Yep. Uh, so I imagine they both tried it. I'm, I'm hoping they tried it anyways. Yeah. And hopefully she'll comment in here about what they like about it or I what can't, they didn't uh, like about it. I can't imagine anybody saying a uh, a cross word about this. This is this here's is the thing. Great. I, I here's the thing. I, I like to fuck a woman's drink. Right. <laughs> I, here's the thing. I it's don't. Shandy. I don't like sours. <laughs> I do not like sours. But. Told Chris you, has gotten homework. Boom. So it. far, I've gotten two fucking sours from this cast that I'm like, dude, I'd buy this again in a heartbeat. Yeah. For sure. This is fucking awesome. I know. I'm, I'm going to buy this and take it home because Teresa's going to love it. That sequence <laughs> that you got, that sequence <laughs> you all been drinking. Uh, oh, I that like the sequence. That delish. I like that sequence. Like, I, I, oh, so that's three. That's I mean, I'm, I'm going to be taking home a sampler pack tonight because like, we have so much uh, leftover beer. Uh, uh, we got to uh, get yeah, it out of the fridge. Shit, it's taking yeah. up all of Chris's fridge mm-hmm. space. We got to get some of the beer out of there. Yeah, <laughs> a sampler pack with some zebras. Some, uh, what is we'll, this called? We'll uh, do some quince? auctions. We'll yeah, maybe we'll do a giveaway. <laughs> I'll just take what I want. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe we'll do a giveaway in the cu- upcoming or, weeks. Or, you know That's what? True. We have true. a guest on here sometime soon. 
And then they have to finish all <laughs> one of each of the different kind of beers we have in there. All the beers that we've had in the last yeah. three months. It's like speed dating. You got to do it really fucking quick. You get yeah, you have to chug them. Ten uh, minutes of beer. I thought about we should do, do giveaways like just a six pack uh, assorted. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. I mean, we're starting to accumulate. So. It really wouldn't be bad. I mean, we, we got can, a whole six pack of the Amando. We can always set uh, out because I'm slowly only drinking, slowly starting to only drink on Tuesdays. And then, like, maybe a Friday or Saturday. So Right. Yeah. Yeah, this Friday you had five beers. Yeah. We discussed that earlier. Oh, yeah, we had, right. a, we had a little hangout. That was my sour, Weiss. See? Yeah, Berliner yeah. Weiss. We, we had a little, little bro hangout. Uh, a did sesh. a lot, lot of philosoph- like philosophical fucking talk, man. Uh, were you say philosophizing? <laughs> no. No, no uh, I like that. that. I like that. Uh, we were all philosophizing. Just engaging conversation instead yeah. of, like... You're oh, normal. What'd you do yesterday? Nothing. Oh, what are you doing tomorrow? Nothing. Oh, right. My my truck's purple. Who gives a fuck? Like right. The actual <laughs> conversation with people, you know. Yeah, and I love that shit, man. When yeah, you, it's I a, mean, and here's the thing. A lot of it was just like, it was a lot of just like stream of consciousness. It's yeah. like the flow yep. from one subject to the next. Yeah. What what segues into another and just yeah. fucking roll with it. <laughs> yep. uh, and it wasn't your mundane like, how are you? How are you? It was like. What do you think of this, like, principle of, like, basic exactly. human thought? Like, do you, I don't know. I know I went on a spiel of, like, and this is a big thing that, we talked about that I always shit. have. It's, like, like one hate versus one love. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of what? shit in One love? hate's always stronger. <laughs> and now I said that. I said, as yep. unfortunate as it is, you can get a group of people together that love the same thing, and they start a fan page. You get a group of people that hate the same thing together, and they start a fucking riot and destroy a fucking town. Yep. And it's sad. It's so fucking depressing, but, like, that's how it fucking goes. But that's philosophy shit. We won't talk about it here. Because okay. at Beard Bros and BS, we're all about the BS, the beers, <laughs> and the bros. Did you say Beard Bros and BS? I, I hope you We did. kind of are. <laughs> but I hope I, it's that's... <laughs> no, the yeah. bruise has got to be in there. Uh, like, it can't just be Beard Bros and BS, because then what's holding us... I mean, Chris <laughs> has barely got a beard, so... Yeah. What? Shots just fired. Says the guy with the also almost. I know. It's, I'm working on it. Sorry, right, my stash puts in your stash's butt. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your fucking chops. Your fucking chops are sick. Yeah. Like I, I you love those things. Chops. If you, Chris has got a stash. If you ever shave this and you just day, keep, man. you either keep the the stash and the chops, I'm curl it or you just do full mutton chops. <laughs> oh, I've been thinking. Here's the thing. I might. Next like, cast, uh, this might be trimmed up. I don't know. So yet. I'm like debating either way. So it's that's a lot. I don't know if Mary Dude, has a class with Troy fucking, right now. This but is Troy a Harding my chin. has yeah. got a mustache from fucking hell right now. What? I'm it is, it it is amazing. So this oh, is amazing. It is the fullest, okay, just biggest. Thing. Like I don't know. How did I miss Chris, it? For four years, all he did was throw a little bit of beer right now. Just a little bit of beer. God it's damn it. He has got I can like, imagine him with a fucking quality. 70s on caterpillar the, stash. Theater like quality stash. Awesome. awesome. It is so big. Like, oh. You this work, is, you this, work my here. Chin you chin here. My chin is here. My chin is here. And it's here. I need to see this. Oh, I want to see this so bad. If anybody doesn't know, we're talking about Troy, one of our computer science instructors. We're not at all. We're talking about He is by far... One of the best teachers I've ever had. Oh, he's such a cool he's guy, so too. He's such a cool hey, guy. Hey, you know what? Fuck frozen? you, Troy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, he just logs I in. He's not. like, son of a bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> what's not up? sure what's going on. Oh, we froze Worried. I'm worried uh, now. Uh, if, if you guys can still see us, we're trying to watch our own uh, live stream, and it looks like it froze up. If you can still see us, give us like a hashtag Tate Hate. Let's do one of those real quick. Ooh, Tate hasn't hated on shit tonight. We I got, got Tate's actually loving We've tonight. Had a couple. Yeah, um, the hate, most of the hate came from you. Uh, Tate hated from yeah. you earlier. Me hating fucking Tate. Hey, yeah. if you guys can still see us, hate. the hashtag Tate hate. Hashtag hate Tate, baby. I'm going to try to get Hate Tate, Tate hate, hate Tate. No, like I'm going to try to uh, check uh, this out and see what's up. But. Gotta hate that Tate. Keeps me alive. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. We're past the 15 minute marker again. Whoa, wait, 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 I gotta go to the bathroom. No, dude. we're still alive now. I'll oh, scoot my... 8.20. I'm seeing it now. Hey, we're live on the stream. I can see it. Okay. I don't know if I can refresh this since it's the window uh, to the, you know, <coughs> live shit. Oh, shit. I think I should leave it. 
Yeah, just leave it because we're still going live. I can see it. Like, so I just when saw Jason, Jason gets back, we'll review this. Yeah, we'll review. We'll uh, review the Green Zebra when we get back. Uh, we're still live. Sarah says. Sorry, guys. We had a bit of a scare. Hate on take. Hate on take? Question mark. Right. Hate on take. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I gotta come through. Who the fuck is that? Justin Neff just joined. Uh, yep. Justin F. just joined, Jason and I even. hate that guy, so fucking block him. <laughs> uh, just so you know, Justin, you're going to be fucking blocked and banned. Because you're a fucking douchebag. Uh, no, but uh, we're still going on this, so we're all right. Wait, well, did the comments update, but that didn't update? Right. Okay, yeah, cool, whatever. The so we can still see what you guys are saying. Yeah, whatever. We'll right. Yeah, we'll do, we're good. You know? And I'm going to keep bringing it up. Uh, we don't always see who's joining. Uh... The way Facebook works is depending on whose uh, Facebook we're logged into, we get to see their friends join and come and go. Uh, if And we use Chris's since we're at his place. But, like, if so, if you're not a, a, if you're not a Facebook friends with Chris himself, uh, it shows you as a number. We get to see, like, hey, six people are here. But, like, if you don't have him as a, as a friend on Facebook, like, we don't get to see when you show up. But so always say, say, hey. Your name enters the chat room. Yeah. Like, uh, so, okay, so for instance, Mary is friends See, now with, it just went to five from right. three. So Mary is friends with it Chris. Doesn't... We saw her join. I'm friends with Chris on Facebook. It saw me join. But if you if you don't have Chris as a personal friend on Facebook, we don't get to see it pop up. Uh, and that's really unfortunate. But, like, always say just, like, hey, what's up? Something like that. Because we want to know who's watching. Like, yep. we love you guys for fucking showing I up. I wish it collectively... collectively did the right. admins of the Yeah, page. everybody who's an admin it did Friends. it. Like Put my ass in maybe the maybe we uh maybe we suggest that to uh Ooh. Zuckerberg. Can I just That's email Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Yeah. Let's fix your shit, bro. You know what? Hey, me and him are hanging out later this week. I'll fucking bring okay. it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, so, so we're super frozen on this, but like the live stream itself is still going. Do so we want to do a uh, comments are still good. a rating on this beer? Are yeah. we there? Well, you guys yeah. are giving shout outs to fans. Uh Sydney friended me on uh, Snapchat. Yeah. Haven't seen her lately on here. I don't know she if got she's doing the stream or what. All that. But just giving a shout out to her. She yeah, was here her for a long Adriana time. Have been for our foundation. Her support. and both, yeah. Her and Adriana both have been kind of in And life. Chantel. They've been here for a while. Right. So. All three of those girls. Shout out to all of you. Mm. And then, of course, Sarah. Julie, if you're watching. Yeah, I guess. Sarah and Julie log in like every night. And that's always awesome. Paige, I found out, doesn't watch our shit for anything. She doesn't watch <laughs> it the next often. day. She she barely watches it in the evening. Fuck God, God, we hate Paige. Fucking Paige. God, we hate Paige. <laughs> Goddamn Rage Paige. We she, have, well, so we're due for Poncho's night. We're in November. Uh, it's a different month. You know how the rules go. Once a month. That's the rule. <laughs> if, you're, uh, if you're down for Poncho's, I haven't, I haven't had dinner or anything. I'm down for some Poncho's. We'll and see. We'll I see. I think Sarah hasn't eaten dinner yet either, so... We, we got options. Ride home, so, uh, we got options. Yeah, I we have got options. Roast, but I'm down for a burrito too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, you made it though, right? Not Julie. <laughs> roast. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 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 That means yeah. it's awesome. That means it's good. <laughs> so, yo, uh, let's get this. Uh, I'll start. Yeah, let's get a rating. Uh, on. This uh, Green Zebra by Founders. <clears throat> Yet again, Founders is out of uh, Michigan. Yep. <clears throat> this is heat map. This is a, a Gosa. <laughs> Is that right? Gosa. Gosa. Gosa, a Gosa style ale. Yeah, make sure you say it with uh, the s, not the z. It's brewed, like, it does make difference, man. And it's uh, brewed with watermelon and sea salt. It's uh, 4.7% alcohol and 10 IBUs. Uh, and it is uh, surprising. It'll totally catch you off guard with its awesomeness. Uh, it's unique. I, I mean, yeah. it's difficult to rate. I mean, uh, when you say like... Comparing this versus a beer, you can't compare it or to versus any beer. you know a different beer. No, that that rating scale doesn't work. Anything. This is off on its own by itself, and uh, I mean, it's a it's a seven. I, I I think in my mind it's a seven easy. I'm trying to think if it's above a seven. Uh, I mean, I gave that peanut butter stout an outstanding rating just because it was so different, and I liked it. And do you like this one? I like this one too. So I'm gonna be conservative. I'm gonna say it's seven and a half. Ooh, okay. Seven. Okay. I'm not gonna go all the way to the eight. <coughs> I mean, it, it could be. It could be there. I get another one. Yeah. Right. Seven and a half. Okay. Shoot. Shriner. Shriz. Shriz. My turn. Yeah, it's all you, brother. We're still going strong on this, by the way. Even uh, though we're 
I love the, I love like look at the freeze though. What is Neff doing there? He's doing something. You, like you're this. about to box something. We were talking about our mustaches. <laughs> and then Chris is doing something like this. Me and this. Chris were talking about mustaches. And then I'm you like guys were I'm talking like about, uh, I don't know you what You guys I'm were doing. talking about your fucking boyfriend look Troy. At you, you look like you're with dude. No, you never met listen, Troy. Troy's I was amazing. pulling mustache down. We were talking. Look, I was actually I'm pretty sure I'm right here, dude. Like no, yeah. I'm right. I'm no, you're right up in that. You're right up in that biz now. You look like you're about to. Like <laughs> Neff's whistling, Chris is picking a booger, and uh, big old <laughs> ball of this. you're fucking ghost boxing. I'm, I'm ghost boxing. Yeah, I don't know. And Jason's just chilling. <laughs> just chilling. Chill. Just chilling. All right, Chris, what's your rating? Tell Tate to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going with a nine. Oh, Ooh. he's a sour guy, though, man. We know this for sure. Chris he is a sour, sour guy, and this is very much a sour. I'm really happy I, you picked this beer. I wish it was a little stronger, so that's what keeps it from a 10 for me, I think. The artwork kicks ass. The brewery kicks ass. We've hung out with them. Yeah, personally. Uh, the sea salt, man. The Get sea that. salt's kind of a kick in the ass, so that's kind of a negative to me. Like, I, I'm not a salt guy. I like my food plain and bland and shit, but... You get along well in England. Is that is that it? Yeah. I don't know. Bland food in England. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, you would. You'd be you're an English motherfucker, dude. My wife loves zebras, so there's a little props. Uh, None of us are giving you that prop, Julie. <laughs> I don't have great reviews for the beers tonight, as far as like extensive knowledge and shit. But just taste wise, this one takes the fucking night for me. For sure. Uh, but I'm kind of worried about how many it would take for me to get a buzz or get drunk off of. Like, I might have to take eight, nine, ten of these to get pretty sloshed. Good and crunk. Yeah. But it, it is a good beer out of can. Most beers I love out of glass. This one's like, I don't give a fuck what it's in. It's good. <laughs> You see that? Yeah. As so, soon as you pointed to it, I was like looking oh, the, at what you were pointing at. The the thing down at the bottom, crack it, port, love it. Well, no, no drink the responsibly. Thing that. They don't serve founders in the clink. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh crack it, port, love it. Crack it, pour it, love it. <laughs> That's yeah. why I love these dudes, man. <laughs> yes. Like that night, still, man, fucking bro day. Like that night that we hung out with those guys was so much fun. I, don't, I won't they tell you about how the best. end of the night finished. Let's leave that to the imagination. Yeah. But that, they were like the best representatives that you could ever. They were the best representatives you could ever fucking hope to have at something like that. Yep. Like, yep. They were great. Fucking cheese. <laughs> no, like when we went from, we had no idea when we left Speakeasy that we'd see him ever again. That we, and we went to the Big Nose Gates that we would ever see him again. And like we didn't even meet Cheese or half of the people there then. But then no. we got to Big Nose. And all those guys apparently decided that that was the place to be. And then they tripled the number. There was like six of them. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you guys are drinking Founders? Okay, you're drinking free all night. And, and they I, opened up. Like yeah. Like at uh, Speaks, they were all reserved and shit. They were, they were strictly they business. Were like off the clock or something. Yeah. 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 They yeah. were super business at Speaks because yeah. they were there for a Founders release. When they got the Big Nose, they left Speaks and they went to Big Nose to drink and just like get drunk and stuff. So like yeah. they were like, this is off the clock. Like We're hanging out. And we got to hang out with them. Yeah, it was cool. Like, it was cool. It was fucking dope. I remember man. playing pool, like, the first time I played pool kind of sober. And I don't remember the chick's name, but she was on my team. And she was one of the founder chicks. And she's like, well, yep. you suck. And then, uh, <laughs> and then after I got drunk, then I played pool again and I was playing against her. And then, uh, like, the drunk pool kicked in. And I was kicking ass. Was like drunk darts. <laughs> and, and then she was like, where the fuck did this come from? Right. And I was like, sorry, girl. You should be on my team. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was super fun, dude. Like, Because she could deal the shit out just mm. as well as everybody else gave it she to her. She was a bro. She was yeah, a bro. Absolutely, man. Yep. All those guys are fucking cool as shit. But they ha I, mean, I hope, those are people I that hope Cheese watches this, man. Like, in, in all honesty, out of anybody who watches I hope Cheese, like, just randomly fucking gets on there. I remember there, those and guys! Just, and we're just loving on the dude. We're I remember, just loving I, I on remember that son of a bitch. Cheese out in the patio, and oh, man. Uh, he was entertaining. Uh, I remember Kevin on the patio. Yeah. <laughs> that was entertaining. I remember you that saving me from that. That was entertaining. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I mean, that at night, I mean, that was a good night, but the night ended very poorly. Oh, <laughs> that was me 
uh, like on my knees in the bathroom. What? Shut the <laughs> fuck up. I don't even want to know how you're finishing this story. I was, I was praying Me to that, dudes and big yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah, praying to that fuck, porcelain dude. god. That's where I thought you were going. I, got I was the, in the bathroom on my knees like, shut the fuck up. I got the spins. Tell the internet. The what spins you did that bad. And I was just in the bathroom. You got me growling. so worried for a second. I was like, you blew a dude that night? <laughs> I haven't puked in a long fucking time. Yeah, Sam. I throw up a lot. It's been a decent amount of time. Actually, like, a throw up is like a, uh, a protection mechanism. Like, you're too drunk, <laughs> throw up. It makes you, like, the next morning, you're like, oh, thank God I threw up. Because uh, it makes the next day so much better if you throw up. Man, I should just start trying that. Right? I think I feel worse. <laughs> no. It's uh, only a momentary, it's a moment where, I mean, it's that, that the, the puking experience, is, yeah, that's not pleasant. But the afterward <laughs> and the next morning, if you have, ten times better. Ten, I, my 21st birthday, if I would have thrown up, I probably would have died. Uh, but I threw up hard. And I felt I didn't even wake up with a hangover. Same hero for my twenty first. I had like here's the twenty shots when I was, in twenty minutes. When I was younger, man, me and, and everybody <laughs> everybody that I was like friends with and stuff, like we went fucking hard in the paint. We did anything and everything you could ever fucking think of. Anything, everything, I promise you. We fucking did it. Heroin? My, my, no. <laughs> God damn fucking it. Liar. Fucking liar. Mainline of that shit. Fucking liar piece of shit. <laughs> but, my 21st uh, birthday, my 21st birthday, I had a mojito, and then I watched a movie and went to bed. <laughs> my friends used to take money bets, and like, as far as like, he won't live past like 22. <laughs> That's how crazy I was in high school. And then my 21st birthday, I had a mojito at a restaurant, and because the, like, the, our waiter bought it for us. Bought it for me. He's like, I'll, I'll get you a drink. It's your 21st birthday. You should have a drink. I'm like, okay, I'll have a mojito. Mm-hmm. I drank that, and I went back, watched a movie, uh, went to bed. Mine, I had a, uh, a whiskey sour, and it was the worst fucking whiskey sour ever. <laughs> it was whiskey, and somebody didn't know how to make a whiskey sour, so it was like whiskey and Sprite. And I was like, this what is the fucking fuck? That is absolutely terrible. not even close to a this whiskey sour. This is sour. Like so terrible. Seagram 7 and Sprite would be okay, but Ugh. not fucking whiskey. It, it was over it's at not even uh, close. It was Sunset yeah. Billiards. So I went there and... God, place that's your like, fucking... Oh, man. That's because you did an order in oh. Natty Light. <laughs> that place used to be awesome when I was in like high school. Oh, really? I'd go and hustle old guys. Now it fucking sucks. They, they this motherfucker's even... a shark. Anybody who watches the cast, you deserve to know. We love you as a fan. No, fucking tell Chris will take your money. <laughs> you got to go to the pool hall, bro. Uh, so, my 21st birthday. I was there after school every day playing. No, no, I don't. We need to go do that. But, uh, Air hockey tournament? As far as, tournament? as far as 21st Woo! birthdays go, uh, I used to work for Geek Squad. And oh, I don't God. know if every Geek Squad's like this or just the one in Manhattan, Kansas. But holy shit, my crew. They rolled hard, and we just well, went. Big squad crew rolled hard. They they had they did mess a fucking fucking round, dude. Life. We had a guy from literally Victor. Victor, if you're there out there, Victor Kovalev. He's Hi, a good Victor. buddy of mine. Uh, Victor drinks vodka like it it's water, and they were all at my 21st, and we had 20. They lined up 21 shots just at one of the bars that I went to. I had over 40 shots that night. Good uh, God. And we. What? Sh- I can do like eight in the night before I'm like. <laughs> we started at the All movie theater myself. with four locos watching Expendables, the original. So, uh, it's, <laughs> we had snuck a bunch of four locos into the movie theater, sitting there watching. I mean, because I couldn't get. Like back when it killed you, four. Oh, locos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I, I turned 21 at midnight. So it was, I was 20 until midnight. So we went to the movie yeah, theater. Yeah, most people do. Okay. We, drank four, we, <laughs> we, we drank four locos at the movie theater, and then the movie was over. We went to Aggieville. And as soon as uh, midnight hit, we were in the bars taking Irish car bombs at O'Malley's. Fucking Irish car and, bombs. And uh, oh gross. my god, dude, mm. Blue Sky does a mean Irish car bomb. Night, oh. bro. Yeah, fuck that. It, uh, no, Mitch, uh, who you've seen on the cast before, he was the one responsible for the twenty-one shots at the shot stop. But the thing was, is that those fuckers they were fucking with me because they're already hammered. And so they mixed in shots of vodka, and it was not good vodka. It was like Barton. Barton vodka with shots of water. Vodka. So it was like half and half. But then the volume, the sheer volume of the amount of liquid right. that I have in my system at the end of that 21 shots, because I did them all. Boom, 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 boom. It's like, oh, vodka, oh, fuck. Oh, in a that's row? That, yeah. That's water. Oh, my God. Okay. Dude, that's water. Idiot. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was 21st birthday. We're going hard. And then Obviously, I dude. sprinted from, I mean, I drunk sprinted. 
from the 21st shot to the bathroom. And then they were trying to break down the door so they could take video of me, like, uh, Ralphin. Uh, but my wife, being the saint that she was, was, uh, was administering the door. And she's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, and she so was holding back your hair and is caressing your saint, vagina. Dude, you yeah. Yeah. Your wife but, is a fucking saint. But then we went, the shit. we went from shot stop <laughs> to, shit, I don't remember, we, we kept going. I mean, it was just a throw up and then a, a pick up where you left off. Oh, it was a hard night. But no hangover because of the throw up. I'm pretty sure I, did, I threw up twice. Uh, to, uh, before bad, I threw up again. You see fucking Wood. You see Wood tag you and I in that. And, yeah. I, and I've seen the video on Facebook several times. I don't know if you guys have. It's that like Samuel Adams came out with you some. You just posted it on our page, didn't you? Yeah. And I was like, that's, that's a beer. But yeah, it's the $200 fucking bottle of a beer that's like illegal in 12 states. 24% so alcohol, alcohol or something? Yeah. yeah. And he. he I just saw it now because I was like checking through shit to see like so who's supposed to step our game up. And he was like, "Yeah, step your game up." You know what? Would that, drink not... anything other than fucking Bud Light. And... No, step your game up <laughs> with your Facebook bullshit. Everybody on Facebook is like three months behind Reddit, so right. Hey, that's where you go. go. Like, really? <laughs> For sure. No, I agree with that. Hey, what? You know what? You're gonna be the next guest. <laughs> Show up on a Tuesday, bro. So, I mean, you guys say that, but. The person that I envy the most literally has no online presence. Doesn't have a smartphone. Doesn't have a cell phone, period. <sighs> Is this your brother? No. no. <laughs> it's a guy who I went down to see in, uh, in uh, Chicago who we stayed with. At oh, yeah. He, he has some, no yeah. online presence. He has You're no telling online us about presence. this. Yeah. He has a Gmail account for email. Uh, but he does not have a cell phone. Does not have any he's social probably media. probably an ace at interacting with people. If, if he sees somebody in person, he's an ace at it. Uh, oh, yeah. He, he does, doesn't do the anything associated with the internet unless it's academic. Uh, and uh, he's a real person. Mm-hmm. Good guy. Yeah, it's, you tell, it's us, got you tell it's, us about him a little bit. Uh, it it has, I think, way more cons cool. than pros. I mean, yeah, you become just a, a zombie. You're out in, yeah. in public, walking the street, and on your phone, you get hit by a car. Well, I mean, you try riding the subway. In any major city, go to New York, go to Chicago, oh, go to anywhere, yeah. and ride on the subway for a little bit, and just and just look at people. I mean, I'm I, I'm like a, a socially aware person. I like to Me make too. eye contact with people. I like to observe what people are doing. But when you Everybody see exists. the masses of people that have their earbuds and that will not look up, will not make eye contact, and it doesn't matter where they are, they're in their world and they do not interact outside of that. Yeah. What's that say about people though that we are not willing but willing and prone to absorb all new material in whatever form that it is i mean that says something about us we have that capacity but Do we, we binge we binge and purge with our brains the same way you would doing something else i mean we we consume and consume and consume and consume but unless it's extremely important we immediately out of our brains but it's necessary once we once we get that bit of addiction it's necessary for us to do it. So it yeah. starts with first you you go from your flip phone, what you made your calls with, to you get a smartphone, and now you're you're browsing the internet while you're taking a dump. Now you're browsing the internet before and after you take a dump because it's part of your routine. But now you're doing it all day long. You you can all say the day. same thing about like me living in this house, <coughs> not suburb, but kind of suburb for Salina, like away from trouble. It's a good neighborhood. Blah blah blah. That's almost not a good thing because I can come home, ignore my whole neighborhood, come inside, and that's it. Yep. It, like uh, Joe Rogan just had a guy, Seba- Sebastian Younger or mm-hmm. something, on his cast the other day, and he wrote a book on. It's called Tribe, I think, and I'm probably gonna buy the book and read it because the dude is awesome. He he still has a fucking flip phone today, never had a smartphone, and he's like, it, you need that community. Like jujitsu has a very family community type atmosphere all kinds of different hobbies do right but people don't have hobbies they sit on facebook when they get home after their fucking eight nine ten hour job and that's it and that's why these mass shootings are happening like like people believe this shit because they have nothing to show for no community to build themselves up with like it's just they get on facebook scroll then they go to bed and go to work and they want to fucking shoot well especially because most like so they want to shoot themselves they're like might as well shoot most mass social media today and I fucking hate this. And it, it goes back to what I was, we were talking about this Friday. 
fucking one love versus one hate. Most mass social media today shows a lot of hate. You'll get some cute puppy pictures. Yep. You'll get, get like, oh, my 13th girl's birthday, we did this, and, it, like, everybody Whoa. cries and loves it. But a lot of it's like, this guy shot this guy. This guy fucking did this. Like, 10 out of 100 are good news. Right. Like. So, one out of 10? Yeah. Like, <laughs> death cells in fucking news media. Just and they'll always go to cells. So, it's like, it's like, yeah, you get a, people who only sit there and view negative, 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 and you expect them to come out with a positive as- aspect on anything they do. And you can't fucking get that. And I hate it, man. I fucking hate it. And actually, you know what? I'll, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this now. Today, I was actually thinking before the cast. I was like, you know what? We don't necessarily have like a huge number of followers at any one given time as far as live. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, We have a good amount. I'm absolutely not hating on anybody who views in. Like, I fucking love everybody who does. But like as an overall, afterwards, like like I always have like guys at work, guys that I know, people I know, that say, "Oh, how was this beer? How was that beer? Oh, I saw you guys' cats that cracked me up. Like this was awesome. You guys like did great last night." And they weren't there live, but you know, people have kids, people have priorities, and other shit to do mm-hmm. other than watch four guys get fucking drunk. I get that. <laughs> yeah. I fucking get that. But they still view it later. And we have a, like we've seen Facebook is like cool enough to where they give you like your numbers. Like, once a month, they say, hey, you know, you've had this many fucking people viewing your shit, you know, 2,000, whatever. I, that Boulevard night, we had a tremendous amount of people look yeah, at our that video. That was nuts. And I was Weird. thinking about it today, and I was like, you know what? And this is something that maybe, like, maybe just I, but, like, maybe we start doing. Like, I want to start spreading a very positive, like, some type of positive message, some type of positive outreach. Because there's so much social media today that's strictly fucking Damn. negative. Like, here's the thing. We're, yeah, we're like we're having fun. We're having a good time. We're not obviously we're not doing dangerous, fucking hateful things. Heroin. But like I'm like, you know what? How about how about this room? And and I don't know if you guys have watched the latest Patton Oswalt uh, mm-hmm. comedy special. It's no, on Netflix. But I like it? him. Yeah, it's on that. It's on Netflix. Uh, have I'll you seen it? it. Mm. I like okay, him so his latest thing it's it's fucking hilarious. It's it's classic Patton. It's really awesome. But it is it was when it was filmed. It was somewhat recently after his wife had passed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. So he does a really good comedy special. Just like but two years old, He then. dives pretty months. fucking deep into that. And it does get dark. It does get sad. But, like, he still <laughs> comes out. I'm sure you are a yeah. inspiration. Absolutely, girl. Get it. But it gets super dark. It gets super sad. But he ends it with a high note laughter kind of thing. But, like... One of the things that he says, and I don't care, it's like a spoiler, I don't give a shit, but one of the things is like, his. one of the things that his wife was like, always had said or whatever, and it was just, be kind. Yep. And to me, that's like, and I watched that, and I was like, I was just watching it as a comedy special, and then it got deep, and I was like, man, this is fucking sad, but like, I want to watch this because it's so deep, and like, he's like, putting his heart on stage in front of thousands of people. Mm-hmm. Hundreds of people, however many, I don't know how many people there, there but that's that. a lot of people. But... Like, he said, one of the things he said is, like, my wife was always about, she always said, be kind. And it's like, that's a super fucking easy thing to do. So, like, if this if this podcast doesn't spread anything other than that, it's just fucking be kind to somebody. One, yeah. tomorrow, tomorrow, everybody go out and say something nice to somebody you normally wouldn't. It's fucking huge, man, because there's so much fucking negativity in the world. And this is the shit that we were getting into on Friday. Even it gets way some, too fucking even philosophical. Even if it's something little like, I like your shoes. That could go a mile with somebody that <laughs> no. is battling shit. Even, here's I ain't like, wearing no. shoes, goddammit. No. Here's the thing. Even so much no, as just going up and be I'm like, even, even so much as just like taking a second and going, hey, like, how's you, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good. Oh, yeah, awesome. And you go by. Like, n- if nobody else asked that person how they're doing today and they were like super fucking depressed or some shit like that, like just somebody like giving a fuck mm-hmm. would make their fucking world. Man, mm-hmm. you, you make And it's that. fucking sad that nobody. <laughs> the other day I was walking into work. And uh, so I own like three pairs, di- different pairs of trucks. I was wearing my gray ones, and uh, I'm, I'm passing the law offices that are right in front of our building. And there's this, there's, he, he's probably my size, black guy standing out in front of one of the law offices there. And he goes, "Oh boy, looking good in them chucks." And I was like, <laughs> "I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, don't do this." <laughs> I told fucking everybody whenever I got into work, and I was like, "Man, I think." I don't know if he was just complimenting me or hitting on me. Did you do that? I don't know. No, no. I was just like, I was like, no. 
<laughs> Thanks, man. But you uh, thought like about them. it, man. <laughs> and then we get like, oh, man, gave we, you a positive we vibe. We cracked up about it. That it was, was an epic was if you would have done that. I don't even know what to say. He would have rolled. I can see you doing it too fucking Oh, no, man. Thank you. No, but it's just like... As much as it's not done, it's super easy to just, like, be kind and just spread a positive fucking, like, vibe around. My dad, uh, whenever somebody comes and goes, at the, uh, you know, at his place, his closing, uh, you know, whenever he's giving his, uh, his goodbyes, it's always just do good. You know, it's just what, it's what he always says to everybody, yeah. do good. Uh, Anybody who, who hasn't seen that fucking Patton Oswalt, fucking watch it, dude. Just do good. You guys including. Be kind, none of good. you guys have fucking seen it. I'm so surprised. Dude, I'm I watching so much it. shit in my queue right now. My uh, season 12. Netflix. Here's the thing. Woo! This is like, it's Holy, an hour it's thing. thing. It's an hour thing. You, there's no prequel, sequel shit. It's him doing his stand-up, which is fucking hilarious, because we're all nerdy motherfuckers. Mm. All four of us. So we love Patton oh, Oswalt. Like, we all know who the fuck he was. I didn't have to explain him to anybody. Wow. Uh... So it's his con, it's his stand up, it's his comedy, it's fucking awesome, and he gets deep with it for a little bit about the passing of his wife. I'll watch it, I'll watch but it. it's like it's fucking good. My Fuck. best cab driver that we always get, his wife passed a few weeks ago, and we like got in his cab the other night, and he's like, "Yeah, my wife passed away like a week ago." Blah blah blah, and I was just like, "God damn, I can't even imagine." Right. Dealing with some shit like that. Because you can't, dude. And he's like, like losing and you somebody. you were taking a cab, so you were kind of drunk, weren't you? I was drunk. Oh, but he, he shit. knows me it's by now. too heavy. Right. But yeah. you guys have, been, have been, <laughs> like, like, been in that cab several man. times. Like, he yeah. felt comfortable, like, yeah. divulging it to you. Like, yeah. Damn, he's a good dude. This is right. This is one of those things, man. The, my, and especially passing review? it off as a... Yeah. <laughs> have you not given your beer review? No. It's oh. not great. <laughs> yeah, neither one of us have on that. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> oh, away. Away, wait, wait, wait. Doing. I gave it seven point five. You, uh, what did you give it nine? You give it nine. Fucking thirty minutes later. Hey, all right, <laughs> all right. So uh, you know what? I'm we easily gonna have sorry. to go with a nine as well. I this is probably one of the best, if not the best, beer that I've drank on this cast. Uh, that first drink that I had of this, I expected it to be watermelon. I expected it to be salt. I didn't expect it to be in that ratio, and I didn't expect it to be sour. It hit like a truck, but then the immediate flavor afterwards, fucking incredible. It's just good. so good. And it's a sweet beer. It's not overly sweet. I think that's what the point in the salt is, is to drown out that, that sweetness. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a beer, even though it's sweet, it's not like a Mike's. It's not like a, a Jack Daniels mixed drink. It's not something like that. This is a beer I could drink all night. I could absolutely sit here and drink these. I never feel like I've got too much sugar. I've got too much sugar. This is, if this was the summer, I would fucking drink these until I puke. <laughs> these are these are amazing. This is the perfect citrus beer, but it does a sour. It does a salt. It does all of that combination. You you mentioned that you didn't like the salt. The the dogfish head that you've been drinking that's a sour. One of my favorite parts about that is the salt. It's that it, it's a clean after finish. Like it's just. It sweeps over I'm your tongue. I'm just not a fan of and it, salt, but it does go, all right, we're done. Instead of yeah. your mouth keeps water. And it, like, it absolutely does. It makes a little bit of that water, but it also cleans the entire palate. Mm -hmm. So it's like, great, next drink. Great, next drink. Yeah. Great, next drink. It's it's a really good beer. I mean, what did you give it? A nine. It, it's absolutely a nine. Uh, I don't know that we've had any uh, Gosa-style beers mm -hmm. or Gosa-style no. ales. Mm -mm. Whatever it is, that. All around, uh, this I is a nine. Berlin, isn't the Berliner Weiss a ghost style? Is it? No. It's a Weiss. It's a Weiss. It's the a Weiss, sequence yeah. probably is. It's a, sequence is a ghost style. It's a beer that's oh, fucked then, with, with salt. Then Is it's that, a is that what basically. a ghost style is? Yeah. Then, man, both of the two that I've had have been amazing. One of them is, because amazing, I know one of them for sure was a ghost Have style. been absolutely amazing. All right. So, this is, it's incredible. I, I love this beer. I think the founders paid. Six. Oh, this is a yearly. Ooh, 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 sorry. No, this is like year round off. for sure. It's, oh it's man, not a, I didn't see anything about limited time or seasonal. Uh, my only thing on this is that like I super wish that it was like we had gotten this in the summer. Mm -hmm. This is to me. This is a summer brew. I want it. I want it. Like now that it's getting colder, I don't think I'd drink this as a winter beer. But like, like if we were like chilling in your pool, I'd have like. Two oh. six packs of this easy six. Oh man, that sounds so oh. good. Um, <laughs> it's a sour, and I'm not a big sour guy, but like I said, so far the sours you have on here, 
They're turning me into a liar. You're good. Uh, it's absolutely a Saturday. Like, yeah. for oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I've not had a sour... We've not had a sour on this cast that I haven't liked. Right. The watermelon... Uh, like you said, I'm not really big on, like, fake watermelon flavor. Even if it is in this, uh, they did it well. It's got a very juicy fucking watermelon flavor yeah, to it. Is. And, like, and like I was saying earlier, it's like if you took a piece of watermelon and dipped it in, like, a bucket of sea salt. There's a lot of that salty, sour flavor to it. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. Um. Hey, Chantel. Yep. You have a good night. Study well. Don't blame your teachers this time or try to, yeah. you know, shit on them for your homework. But, uh, yeah, we can't wait to have you in person. When send us when are you going to be here so we can schedule you in? Absolutely, I think we want was, you here. Was it before or I after think it's Thanksgiving? After beginning of the year. Shots. The beginning yeah. of the year. Oh shit! I thought Unless it was Thanksgiving. She was coming home for the holidays oh. and wanting to be on. Yeah, if you're coming home for the holidays, let us know. Let Chris know. Shots. We no. want you here on Shots. the show. Shots. No. Shots. We, we hey, you shut the fuck up. Luke. Luke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Luke. Uh, no. Okay. So uh, I'm just gonna give it an overall beer rating. I'm not gonna do like beer versus sour okay. kind of thing. Uh, I'm gonna give it a six and a half. What? If I gave another, here's the thing. If I gave another sour a higher rating, six and a half. If I gave another sour uh, a higher rating, I'd equal it out to that. I don't remember what I gave them, but I'm gonna say like six and a half, seven, because it is like super a fucking sour. Um, and maybe it's just the time of year. Like, we're getting into cold weather season, and, like, so this isn't hitting me right where it needs to. Uh -huh. As a beer, though, it's super awesome. And, like, the uniqueness. Oh, no, yeah. I'm gonna bump it to a seven. The uniqueness of this beer versus, like, a lot of the shit that we've had on here. <laughs> other than that peanut butter fucking <laughs> porter. Oh, that thing. <laughs> shit. But, like, this thing, like, I've never tasted another beer that tastes like this. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll give it the seven for sure. On so... that note. The 25th is a Monday, so she'll be here at the 26th, which is Tuesday. I don't know if I have anything that day if we want to have her on then in person. The 26th yeah. is the day after Christmas, though, right? Yes. Yes. I, I ain't going to be here. You won't? Yeah, no. I, I'm going to assume it's probably. I'll be up in the mountains. But if she's here until yeah. January 21st. How do you have this much fucking time off work, man? January 2nd. State job, dude. Oh, January 2nd. Oh, it's an exclamation mark? I think Damn. so. Okay. Well, that. no, if, if, she's still, if she's here until January 2nd, though, we can do it the weekend, the Tuesday after. Is that the second? Is the second a Tuesday? I don't fucking know. I'm going to look it up real quick. Well, she's here. Yeah, because the Monday is going to be the first. 25th, 26th. Yeah, the second. Yeah, it's the next Tuesday. So I imagine that's when she heads she out. She might be flying out that day. Well, I guess you're going to miss your flight because you're going to be on the cast. Congratulations, Shinto. <laughs> Extend the trip. You made it. Extend it. You made so, it. You'll uh, be on break from school. Before we end, uh, my boss actually had a pretty good fucking idea. Ooh. I got to pee, dude. I'm sorry. We should maybe I do pee like another standalone idea for an episode to where we do, whether it's a craft beer or standard, we find somebody out of state, whether it's on the West Coast or East Coast, have them get the same beer as us, or even have a brewery from a different region send us a beer and test Midwest versus West Coast. Of the same, same beer? Same beer. See if there's a difference. Hmm. I don't know if there would be, but... That would it, be very interesting, because uh, marketing teams are uh, involved, and uh, I, I can see them marketing the same beer different ways. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a decent experiment. We've got time. We've got plenty of time. Yeah, here. <laughs> yeah. This is something to throw out there because I thought it was a pretty good idea. It, yeah, I yeah. Tell Neff we should just cold call all the places that we've listed on here. Like, hey, you want to sponsor us? Send us some beer. Hey, you want to sponsor us? Send us some beer. Worst they can say is no. We're in the yeah. same exact position we are and now. We talked about the same thing. Um, cold, cold calling or emailing or DMing celebrities and trying to get them on the show. <laughs> can you if, imagine? Just, if each of us pick twenty five celebrities. Oh. One might say yes. Out of okay, so if they're in Kansas. <laughs> dibs on Scarlett Johansson. Dibs. <laughs> Not even if they're in Kansas. Like, I call, they, 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 like, I call like dibs. Yeah. yeah. Any celebrity. You're, call, you're calling you dibs on Scarlett Johansson? Yes. If Robert anybody's got a personal Jr. message and try I'm, to get I'm Robert calling, De Niro, Al Pacino. Sean I'm calling Pat. dibs on Paul Rudd because he frequents Kansas City Will, all the time. Will Ferrell. Like, so okay, like, dibs on Kate Winslet. We get one. You're just picking hot girls? Like, that's your thing? Kate Winslet's like my, my, like, uh... 
I'll leave every worldly possession behind and just go with you. <laughs> really? Kate Winslet? Oh my god. Yes. From Titanic. Ooh! You guys, you guys want to fucking like cheers and uh, bounce yeah. out? Yeah, do it. We're about at two hours. So. Yeah. All right. I don't. Eliza Dushku, circa fucking what the first bring it on. Bruce Bros and BS bitches. Cheers, baby. Episode fifteen. We're Woo. out. Love you guys.